Hello, hello, everybody. We are continuing our journey here through the world of Mass Effect 2. Last time, uh, we got Dr. Solus onto the team, went about and basically strip-mined a bunch of planets, and uh, decided to do a side quest that it was apparently a free DLC when the game came out called Project Overlord. It was quite fun. The pseudo mako part was cool. Even if the overall vibe was a bit off because... Apparently if you're autistic, you can speak to the Geth. Yeah, that's a bit weird. Bioware. Bioware, that is ever so slightly weird. I wonder if, like, the fuel depot moved. I think it did. It's hard to tell. And we basically doubled our money from the looks of it. But now let's go to Firewalker, Geth Incursion. See what things are like over here. All right, only a two planet system. Time to strip mine planet. Strip mine the planet. Ooh. There's some iridium in these hills. And we're rich enough to be able to afford just going nuts, especially because we do not know if, like, uh, we'll be able to scan the next planet. Not all landable planets are, like, uh, scannable. Some are like, oh, you need to scan for the anomaly. Others, not so much. But God, I am happy at how they're handling things in this one. It almost feels a bit trivial, to a degree, how getting resources is here. That kind of makes me worry that things are going to get uh, expensive later on, entirely possible. Or, again, my going theory that Vanilla Mass Effect 2 was very stingy with resources, so they bumped it up at some point, either in Vanilla with updates or Legendary Edition, just for the sake of it. Maybe this is in Mass Effect 1. The leveling was egregious, probably. So, they changed that. In Mass Effect 2, resources were egregious, so they changed that, maybe. Probably not, but that's just my going theory. Scan or no scan? <gasps> we get to scan it! Why does it look like camo? Why does it look like a camo planet? Let's get all the materials that we can. Because we're going to need all the materials we can get. Ton of platinum. Considering we don't know the measure, like a. Although the anomaly beep is messing up with my resource hunting. God damn it, the geth down there do not respect my searching. They don't respect my search history. Damn them. And now, since this planet's probably close to depleted... Fire! I have found something. Planetary scans detect signals from sensor pods left on the planet's surface. These pods may contain valuable data. Warning, surface temperature are extremely low. Advise keeping hammerhead exposure to the cold at absolute minimum. Because then ice would get in between the couplings. Come with me, Silas. Um, well, not Silas. Have we even run into a Silas in these games? This game. <laughs> we actually get a Walking 2 animation. That's kind of amusing. <laughs> we haven't had a Walk to the Hammerhead animation yet. Warning. Prolonged exposure to extreme temperatures may degrade. 
upgrade engine performance. Mission objectives located. Atmospheric data acquired. Engine temperature stabilizing. Doesn't feel like it's stabilizing. We are behind a mountain. I don't know where to hide. Where do we hide from the snow? Extraction complete. Maybe extracting just gives the engine a boost. This is a speed run. Boy, get grinded. Extraction complete. But I think my guess is Project Overlord was created and or released after the Firewalker missions. Extraction complete. So when the uh Firewalker missions were made, this would be like the first time. Like, oh, walk towards it, you earned it, blah. But then uh, for Overlord, they didn't include it for whatever reason. Extraction complete. Damn me. I got five notes left. My parameters say get in there. Extraction complete. Caution. Engine temperature falling. Maybe you just need to drill more, but no, you don't want to drill. At least it looks like you drill. Don't know what you do specifically. It, I swear, it looks like he drills. But yeah, this is basically a built-in speed run. <laughs> Better than the snowmobile section of the Prompto DLC of Final Fantasy XV. We are in a cave. We are not exposed to the elements. So yeah, uh, they didn't really put that much thought into this mission. It's just like, oh yeah, do timer-ish thing that's replenished when you hit thing. I don't know why we went that high. Extraction complete. That should do it. Interesting, I guess. Level earned. Huzzah. Atmospheric data recovered from all ten nodes. I got earning and more palladium. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Atmospheric data. Commander, a very capable team is analyzing the data you gathered from the Geth's research into atmospheric change. We hope it may open up new avenues for terraforming procedures for future colonies. The tech used in the beacons also contains communication innovations that should help us develop better systems to reduce atmospheric noise. There is no evidence of Prothean activity on this planet. Oh wait, I need to mark it as red. Alright. Then I don't think there are any other... Yeah, there's no other place. We're gonna head back to the mass relay. And, uh, like I said last time, do other side quests before heading to the Citadel, as well as uh, avoid picking up the last two dudes, because we're going to get the Master Thief. So yeah, from the looks of things... Yeah, we're over here. So we'll jump here, do Firewalker Recover Research, go here, Firewalker Artifact Collection, then probably then hit Serpent Nebula, 
where we'll uh, do the Citadel and recruit the Master Thief. Go there, secure smuggle cargo, and uh, as well as recruit the convict, and then recruit the warlord. That is my tentative kind of thing I want to do. That way we can get most of the things done before having to worry about, like, the world being crazy. Another rich miner. Like, mini planet. That's right. Give me the power! We need that platinum. Hell yeah. More platinum, yes! When they said this planet was rich, they were... They were not kidding. More platinum, yes! It's precisely what we need! Cheese, bread, chicken, egg! We're gonna be able to cook so much food! Launching probe. But more platinum! Just a kick away. away. Probe launched. <laughs> platinum? Bloody is there! On this teeny tiny goddamn planet. How much platinum is there? How many copies of Pokemon Platinum are on this goddamn planet? So goddamn many. Oh yeah, and while we're scanning planets and stuff, I think I'm gonna have to stop looking at the opening loading screen for Mass Effect 2. Like, you go into the, oh, play Ma Mass Effect uh, Legendary Edition and Origin on PC. It opens up the Mass Effect Collection screen. Uh, then you get to go and, like, uh, select which Mass Effect you wanna play, one, two, or three. And then after selecting one, two, or three, it'll then load up one, two, or three. <laughs> but uh, as it's loading, it has a personalized loading screen that shows, like, the first one is innocuous. It's like, oh, Commander Shepard, and then uh, kind of uh, a silhouette of uh, Garrus and I think Ashley Williams off to the side. It doesn't really show all that much. It's just a kind of neat splash page kind of uh, wallpaper art. This one, Mass Effect 2's loading wallpaper thingy, just shows the entire crew that you get. <laughs> so yeah, I, 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 I can't look at it because I don't want to be spoiled more than I already have been. Give me all of these. All of everything. Yeah, just more palladium. Once we get over a hundred thousand of something, I feel decently safe. In general. Like, I don't expect it to be too bad. Ooh, that's a lot of Probe element away. zero, my dude. Rich planets, like... I, they're probably classified that because you need to be rich to buy all the goddamn probes to be able to get everything. Now there we go. Give me that element zero. Oh, it's so nice. Yeah, might as well. We have we're in the home system. We can afford to go for little spikes. Launching probe. Go over that element zero. Are we even gonna frickin' knock this into poor zone? Knock it into poor zone! 
we're gonna spend a, the majority of our, our probes. And we're not even gonna knock it down into pour? No, we're gonna knock it down into into depleted. Lol. It went from moderate to buy. And that was like a moon. There we go. Probe away. Good Probe middle launched. spot. Whoop. Hell yeah. Probe away. Damn right, you're poor. I'm gonna steal all your platinum. Probe away. All your Pokemon platinums will belong to me. Pro. Ever last one of them. Whoop. There we go, there's some platinum. Another Richie boy. Hell yeah. Away. Still ever so slightly disappointed there isn't an away. achievement for getting maximum green bars of all resources. Give me that iridium. But what about the gold? Launching probe. Or is <laughs> what is maintaining the power of the credit in the Mass Effect universe? Probe away. Maybe element zero, iridium, platinum, and stuff. Probe launched. About the same time, probably not. Who knows? What backs the credit? The credit. <laughs> In the far off future of Mass Effect, credit cards just became the default way of paying and everyone forgot about the credit part of the credit card. That looks like a thing. I knew it was a thing. I knew there would be something in an asteroid field one of these days. It's better than <laughs> the last one. Now you can kind of see what's in the asteroid fields. Launched. I wonder if the fuel depot is to scale. Away. Like if it's bigger than these moons and planets and planetoids. Or if it's just, hey, here's a, a fuel station. Probe launched. Imagine if you had to play, spot the fuel station whenever you wanted to buy more probes. Would be hell. And this thing is still considered rich. We've plugged it with so many probes and it's all, it's still rich. Probe launched. Okay, now it's down to moderate. It didn't even have to have good. It just went moderate. It's 
hiding its wealth well. It's just such a tiny planet. Asteroid, moon. Fine, you get to keep the rest of your bloody riches. Alright. We'll exit through here and see which one's closer. Go ahead and get the firewalker done and dusted. Whew. I do not like coasting into a, a solar system. Coasting into a solar system scares me. Probe. Basically, I do not like that it takes about 450 fuel. Well, not even that. It takes about... I do not like that it takes around about half fuel. somewhere. Just gonna have to go back. Launching probe. And considering we're not low on anything, we shall leave you to be poor. Stay poor. It's always the tiny ones that are rich. Probe away. Always the tiny ones. Probe away. Probe away. Give me all of that. Give me all the resources by the thousands. Launching probe. Boom! When skyrockets like that, I'm like just moving around. It's like, oh, I, I see a bit of a peak there. And then I kind of jerk the planet's rotation a bit, then just explodes. Wham! Launched. Honestly, terrifying. Probe launched. Over 200,000 iridium. I wonder if that's good or if that's just expected. God forbid it be poor. You only have 200,000 iridium? <laughs> oh, he'll have to sell his children. How much per child? Oh, 5,000. Probe. Probe away. Woot woot. And let's see, is this a land land or scan land? I have detected an anomaly. Let's try and scan a bit. Yes, I know, I'm doing scanning. Probe launched. Yes, yes, yes. Anomaly detected. Launching probe. I have probes to spin. Probe launched. Would it be hilarious if I like hit the anomaly while I'm just scanning for resources? Because while I'm probe scanning for launched. resources, I don't even look at the planet. I just look at my scan doodle. Give me 
that platinum. Give me that iridium. And with that, I think we shall begin scanning. Where are the anomaly? Something on our sensors. Anomaly detected. Research station detected within volcano on planet surface. The research station's data storage systems are still active. So basically, oh, maybe it won't be just oh, go fast in hot zone this time. Maybe we'll just have to dodge. Uh, lava spurts. I'm not gonna upgrade Inferno. Cryo ammo freezes enemies, allowing you to shatter with gunfire or biotics. Might as well get to unlocking. Cryo blast snap freezes your opponents. Sure. I should have waited and got you. Number four. I, I forgot. Ah. Yeah, I'm so slightly miss the old leveling system. Like, maybe not the old leveling system, but the old point allocation system. But at the same time, they reduced online. how many points you get Adverse overall, so... down there. Morning. Area compromised due to unstable volcanic activity. Mineral resources detected. And it's not keeping track of the resources. That's good. Give me that. Give me that. Required. Like these are negligible. All things considered. But screw it. That's my methodology. These are like the smallest potatoes of the small potato factory. Only a few hundred, and I have to sit there and scan. And sure, they add up, I guess. But I get, like, more for a single shot of probe. Destiny. Give to me everything. Why would you build a research station in a volcano? Research base entrance ahead. Dumbass who built complete. research base in volcano not ahead, because they're dead. Become the ultimate badass. A higher renegade score unlocks more intimidation points and conversations. 
but I want to be a protagonist. The most fluffy... Well, then again, I say, I want to be the most fluffy protagonist. Ah, uh, yes, the most fluffy protagonist, you know. The, the paragon that has twice convinced people to be better people by pointing guns at their heads. Zaid. The guy with the autistic brother. Why is Mass Effect 2's... Frickin' Paragon Pass seems to be threaten people to be good. We have detected a site of incredible significance located beneath the volcano. The unpredictable terrain will make the retrieval of any data extremely hazardous. Don't give us more than that. There's data. It's important. It's in the volcano. You should stop. I was right. This site was a roadmap leading to the main Prothean ruins. Dr. Aloy and I agree that this must remain a secret at all costs. Why? I will not allow another Eden Prime to occur. Oh. Death, the Reapers, all of them, they must be stopped. From coming to the volcano planet? Dr. Case's log number two. This hellish planet is a star map that points to a Prothean site of major significance. Dr. Oloy and I have mere hours to retrieve all we can before the conditions become too dangerous to continue. We learn too late that the look of volcanic instability is magnified by our power grid. If only we had more time to study this. I'm sure the key to unlocking everything is here. Everything. Damn this planet. Rocks fall, everybody dies. Activation of research base power grid has triggered additional volcanic instability. Recommend immediate departure. I was right. We have to go now. Probably should have opened this door first. But I thought this might be the way to go. Besides, I don't hear a time limit. Hmm, interesting, this place only had refined iridium. How did the glass break? Oh. go, anyway. Well, everyone, there were two bunk beds. Ah, I didn't see that cave before. Ow, that shake literally hurts my eyes. Ow. Ow, stop it. Shaking hurts eyes. It just creates like a double vision, but it's like a quadruple vision. Stop. Stop. I am jumping while there's four of me. And this is why we don't make bases in volcanoes. Away. It didn't need that dramatic a landing. But at the same time, I kind of appreciate they made a custom landing just for this mission. Data covered from research station. Dr. Case's location discovered. Landing party extracted from volcano. Now, overall, 5,000 iridium. 
when we over when we have over two hundred thousand. Commander, you received a new message at your private terminal. Project Fireworker, that was a close one on Kurumu Kurumto Shepherd. A disturbing fact has come to light in analyzing the channel you used to transmit your findings. Unauthorized transmissions have been sent from the MSV Rosali to an unknown destination. It's assumed that this is how the Geth are tracking Dr. K uh, Doctor's case in the Loy. The data you retrieved ga to ga uh, gives us a definite location of Dr. Case's pro Prothean site. The doctor was certain that the site held a Prothean revelation of enormous significance. It is recommended that you head there as soon as possible. Counter any Geth retrieval missions already in play. Yeah. I'm gonna see if there's anything else. No. Oh well. I bumped into Zaid recently. Quite the character. Given how much violence and destruction that man's seen, he's surprisingly well adjusted. Still, I wouldn't want to be alone with him. Anyway, what's up? How's the crew? Is there anything I should Nothing know? Nothing right now. Anything else, Commander? I always have time for you, Commander. I better go. Okay. Maybe we'll talk. Maybe later. I can ask her if anybody has anything of necessary needs. See. Do I wanna make anything? I still don't know what storm speed is. Negotiation bonus. Built specifically for Cerberus field officers, the Inferno Armor has a VI dedicated to recognizing signs of stress and medical trauma. This application helps us assist Mmm negotiation bonus. And it's very fucking cheap. I'll go ahead and buy it. <laughs> I see negotiation bonus. I'm just like... <gasps> go ahead and like, give ourselves options. I don't even know what these are. I see. I buy. Hell, we'll grab this too. Just so we can have it. Wait. Heavy bone weave. Commander, we think that you're too much. <laughs> this highly specific takes 50% less damage from melee attacks. You know, that's the only thing that bones do. No messages for you, Commander. And this place is only 80. One, two, three, four. There's a fifth thing hanging about. This planet is super near the frickin' star. And it's rich and I don't have many probes. Dondi! Don the Don D. We won't even be able to crash this planet's economy. We just don't have the probes for it. Probe away. Yeah, throw Zaid out the airlock like a probe. <laughs> He'd survive. Back to the mass relay. We have used half our fuel. Buy all the fuel. Buy. Wait, did we, we didn't use one of our. I thought we used all of our probes. Darn thee. Darn thee. Go ahead and do this one. Just gonna fly around the asteroid field just in case. Hmm, could have sworn that would have been a thing. Maybe this extra big asteroid. Nope. Extra big asteroids do not matter. That palladium. Go 
Probe away. Probe away, dandy. Probe launched. Ooh. Probe away. And back over. Two hundred thousand. We are here to crash your con. <laughs> I will be lurking. In going back to cow and vod counting. Praise the counting. We need to count for that. While I am here, strip mining yet another planet. The daily life of Cerberus Shepherd. Probe away. We're just here. Scan a planet, steal its resources. Probe launched. That's the Cerberus way. When we're not building science bases and volcanoes. Who would have thought that unstable volcano would be a terrible place for a base? I wonder how many Cerberus cells feel like we're gonna build our base in a volcano. And then due to the structural nature of Cerberus, how many of them never call back? Launching probe. Probe away. And again, considering that Cerberus seems to mostly function off of donations from of the rest of humanity. Humanity, give us money. We'll find a way to make humanity even better through technology and shit. And they spend that money making a volcano base that just upsets the volcano and they have to sacrifice it. Utter lunatics. Is it always the small planets that have so much resources? Probe away. All of the resources belonging to me. Oop, there was platinum, and we will love our platinum. Probe away. It's what allows us to. I love a good peak. So platinum allows us to get upgrades. And I'm scared when we don't get upgrades. Launching probe. Once we get to moderate, I think we should bail and check out other planets. And we're only 50% goddamn done with this system. They're almost too generous. Launching too much probe. resources. I have no idea where we keep all of these resources. Maybe a hidden Cerberus base. Launching probe. We give them the metric m upon metric tons of platinum. So much that it just like destabilizes the orbit Launching of whatever probe. planet. We have a station to hold all our shit. And we only have two goddamn probes. Let's see, is there. Probe away. Why must I be so poor? In probes. Probe or in probes. Or in probes. Once again, forgot this is not Mass Effect 1.
I scan you. Luckily, you're just good. And I don't need anything. Still annoys me. But at least we can kick on back to the mass relay. Because I do believe, yep. This place is 100% done. At least in that sense. Fuel reserves at 50%. 444! We have the best fuel. Alright. Plot mass relay jump. That wasn't there before. Now it is. I just keep getting more things to do. Hawking Zeta. I remember Hawk the Hawking Zeta zone from Mass Effect 1. Ever so slightly. Give me all your resources. The resources will be mine. Broke away. For I am Commander Shepard. Maybe because I work for Cerberus now, I can just go to those planets that have the mountains that, like, spited me in Mass Effect 1, and then I can, like, nuke them from orbit. Who's gonna stop me? The Alliance? They wouldn't even have stopped the Sovereign without me. If I want to destroy a goddamn mountain, I can. I can. I can. Cause I am the destroyer of mountains. Commander Mass Effect Shepard. It's like Sans Undertale. Mass Effect Shepard. Commander Mass Effect. Probe away. Watch. Mass Effect 3, one of the endings will be Shepard goes back in time and, and creates the, the Reapers to maintain hold on the timeline. At first, all he wants to do is see his crew again. Then his attempts at seeing them again, he becomes the ultimate Reaper God. Go ahead and head to Ver. Schwarzschild. Never mind, we'll go to Century. I remember Century ever so slightly. One of these planets is probably one of the ones with the goddamn rocks. Launching probe. The rocks that hurt me. Probe launched. This is the Iridium planet. You know, like the ASDF movie? Like, uh, shorts. Compilation thingies. And one of the jokes is... Johnny, take out the dog! Yes, mother! <laughs> For a walk, Johnny! Is like, I could see something similar to that with, like, get Iridium. And it's just like, yes, sir. No, get Iridium, the material. If done correctly, might be a minor Launching chuckle. Pro. It's like, basic wordplay. Hee ho. You said a thing that sounds like another thing, and thing was misinterpreted to peak comedy. Hell yeah. Probe launched. Fly around. Fly around the asteroid belt. Looking for things like dead bodies. I wonder if this is me just 
taking all the resources that I surveyed in the last game. That would be a funny mechanic. Certain material is easy to f easier to find on certain planets because you surveyed them in the last game. That would be highly amusing, but also like would be like a pain in the ass to program. Because like you'd have to be able to like count that to some degree in Mass Effect One, and then use that data in Mass Effect Two. Clint Dagon. Whenever I hear Dagon, or like see Dagon, my brain wants to put an R in there and make it dragon. Give me that platinum. Then again, we do need lots of iridium for weapons. Lots of platinum for other upgrades. Launching probe. I can only imagine that all this looks like from like in the real Mass Effect world is the Normandy flying around a planet again and again, periodically shooting probes. This is space fishing. Now this is pod race. Probe launched. Now I just remember that there was a pod racing mini game in Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. And I wonder like what a pod racing mini game would look like in Mass Effect. Probe launched. Although, if I remember correctly, I was ever so slightly annoyed with the pod racing mini game as well. So, BioWare was never really the best with vehicles. Then again, pod racing was just going in one goddamn direction. Let back. Don't know how you fucking just like slide out of a solar system. We'll head to Swarth Child just to get it squared away. God damn, this is a big boy. Show me thy secrets! Probe launched. Probe away. All your secrets are platinum. Pokemon platinum. Thank you for all the platinum. I keep forgetting this is not Mass Effect 1! I can't just click escape to leave. Though it is a little bit nice if you want to just leave it to elsewhere on the, uh, the Normandy. You don't have to back out of everything, so... Probe launched. It's not terrible. I just need to be more aware. Probe launched. Probe launched. Fear my power. Two hundred thousand resources. Yes, more Pokemon Platinum. I'll be able to trade for all of the Pokemon games. That would be an interesting thing if, like, trading became such a cultural thing to Pokemon 
that you physically trade copies of Pokemon games for other Pokemon game copies. I'll give you five platinum for a pay you Pikachu. Fuck you, I only take soul silver. Probe away. In the far off future. Wars for resources will return. Only those resources are mint Pokemon NFTs. Of Lopani's boobs. More platinum, more everything. All of your resources belong to me. All of them. Give me the platinum. The almighty Platinum. And Element Away. Zero. And now this world is poor. All it has is Pokemon Snap. We have nine probes to make this planet destitute. And apparently it's rich in weapon iridium. Just all the iridium, huh? Oop. Give me that platinum. Give me that iridium. And that platinum. And that iridium. And even more of that iridium. We managed to deplete that rich planet with nine probes. Fear my almighty power. Go refuel. Find more probes as we head off to Ver. Korang. Planets may be poor, but we can bleed this stone. Of its Pokemon Platinums! More Platinum! I'm still thankful that I played through Mass Effect 1. I do find it funny that some people are like, I'm just gonna jump into Mass Effect 2. And they like, miss out on all the bonuses. Not me. Away. Granted, it does mean that I miss out on the interactive motion comic. Where you then make choices oh, within gosh. the comic that you would have made in the game. I wonder if the motion comic is just the conversations. That would be hilarious. You just play through the conversations. I wonder if that makes it easier to get, like, your desired, like, Paragon or Renegade points, though. I wonder which is more efficient. Interactive comic? Or playing for your Renegade and Paragon power?
I still wonder why some things are considered renegade. I still do not know what gave me five renegade points at the end of Dr. Solis's section of the mission. I just like, between going and uh, activating the cure and saying I will stay, is like what was like renegade? Like it had to have been in the fight or the conversation with him. Maybe I said something in the conversation and I didn't know it was the renegade option. But the only thing that I could think would have been the renegade Throw option away. is, I think I'll stay, which would be frickin' hilarious. You decided to stay after the mission. That's renegade. Anomaly detected. Anomaly detected! Launching probe. All right, we're just getting a lot of iridium. We're almost at 300,000 iridium. Oh, that's a lot of platinum and palladium. Hells yeah. Give me all the good stuff. All that gouda. Probe away. Probe launched. Probe away. I love me some rich planets. Give me the good stuff. We'll get this bit of iridium and palladium, and then we'll come on down here and scan the anomaly. Something on our sensors. Anomaly detected. Scans have found locations matching the description of Dr. Case's survey sites. Exploring sites could give valuable emission data. Warning, geth presence detected on planet surface. Use extreme caution. Armor isn't just stylish. Each piece you equipped has different. Blah, 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 blah. I have so many heavy, heavy weapon options. Like, Avalanche, what are you? Cryo round. I'm just gonna stick to my arc projector. I like my arc projector! It projects arcs! Every Elden Ring player would love it! Every last one! Ah, hell, it's an armature or Colossus. Don't give thing glowy light if not important. This is video game. Again, glowy light but not important. Feels like scam. dropship detected. Okay, when they said dropship, they meant dropship. <laughs> It drops them sh like a bag of babies. Mine. Mine. My data. Now this is pod racing. Well, it does feel like a Star Wars scrap world, that's for sure. Warning. Geth forces detected. Again, Geth forces just drop like a bag of babies. Who sends these babies to fight? Geth. I almost scanned myself. Into the void, but hey, I got lots of platinum for it, so worth it. You know, I just realized something. 
despite being all like we're looking out for humanity's interest we care about humanity and making it stronger they still killed an alliance officer kohaku and they didn't help at all with the geth and sovereign and Saren in mass effect one they literally every single cerberus operative that i ran into was either somebody who was horrible and terrible trying to escape justice for their actions or were trying to kill me and then when I was, when I was just like uh, sorry but I'm not going to just let you go after you did all these terrible things if you say you do these terrible things in the name of humanity well the court of humanity says get in the goddamn box and they said, no, we don't want to get in the box, so I had to shoot him. And I feel nothing about killing them. We already did that one. We were, we were working, or did we? Is this a new one? I am confuzzled. Why are there two? Though this does definitely remind me of Star Wars uh, Force Unleashed. I liked Force Unleashed. I wish that it got like a sequel. Well, I mean beyond Force Unleashed 2. Like, I, I wish that kind of line of the game, Star Wars games, went on. Maybe have like a different character like the gameplay, but at the same time, I loved me Star of Killer. Star Killer was a nice character. And even if some people didn't like the additions to the Star Wars expanded universe, I still liked it. The second one kind of, oh, you're a big boy. Man. The second one had kind of a lesser story, but I still enjoyed it enough. Acquired. It was very fun. Take this, Rocket Jones. I am the rocket. Aha, this wasn't even an important place to be. But it's important to me. Extraction complete. And at the very least, my ability to stay within the scanning range is not dependent on my resources that I gain. Flip that and it makes sense. Destroy the destroyer. Destroy the destroyer. I demand the destroyer be destroyed. While it feels like I die quicker as the hammerhead, it definitely has uh, feels better than. Uh, Mako. Mission objectives completed. We come on down. We wreck shit. We save the day. Data recovered from planet surface. Historically significant artifacts recovered. Dr. Case's location not found among recovered data. Get presence on planet eradicated. Eradicate. That should have been. Complete five missions discovered by scanning unexplored worlds. Alright, now we make our way to the mass relay. But as I was going to joke, there should have been like an evolution to, in Pokemon, eradicate should have evolved into eradicate because it would have amused me. All 
right. Next on, Fireworker. F fireworker. Because, you know, when we say Walker, we should just eradicate as many letters in that goddamn thing as possible. Walker. Worker. Let's get rid of the W. Hooker. Launching probe. Yeah, magnificent piles of treasure. Yeah, magnificent bundles of cash. Probe launched. All of your raridium belongs to me. This planet looks like a brain. We should dissect it. Let's modify a Mass Effect relay and turn it into a giant laser. The interstellar sniper rifle. Instead of shooting ships, it shoots bullets. Probe launched. It would be like if a like a, a bullet train was an actual bullet aimed at something to destroy. All oh, these materials shall be mine. Launching probe. I swear it would be hilarious if when we got to the Citadel and we talked to the Council. By the way, Shepard, we've gotten r reports that a bunch of planets have been veritably strip-mined of their resources. Might you know what that might be about? Oh no, of course not. Maybe it's because I'm not surveying these planets anymore. Well, that's hardly our fault, Shepard. You got blown up. We don't know by who it was the Collectors. The Collectors are just a myth to scare children. Wait, there's another planet. There's another planet. Come to me, other planet. You are mine to eradicate your riches. Really, it's just to get the 100%, which I guess I could have just clicked on. But it's also a rich planet. I'll have to buy more probes, but... We're getting lots of platinum, and that's important to me. Probe launched. Gil, love, your platinum will be mine, because I'm not... Wait, well, uh... What? Well, I'm trying to think. A conquistador, I am no conquistador. I appreciate the value of platinum. Probe launched. Go watch uh, Overly Sarcastic's video on El Dorado to get that reference properly. It is a wonderful and hilarious story. Oh, there's so much here. It's like the scanner was doing the worm there for a moment as I was like, scanning about for resources. And now we have over 200,000 of all material except for element zero. And that's because element zero is highly scarce and uh, like it goes a long way, like like margarine. Launched. Goes a long way from me because I don't use it. I think I've done like one E zero upgrade. So one probe costs a hundred credits. Not that bad. Twenty-five. There must be one hidden down there. We're definitely scouring this asteroid field. There has to be something here. Yeah, there is. This tiny marble, a dwarf planet hidden amongst the ruin of God. 
launched. I know they kind of did the gag of, uh, like, uh, religion in space, but still believing in God, even though you're out in space with Ashley Williams. And by gag, I mean just kind of acknowledged it. Yeah, I believe in a greater power. I still think it would be hilarious that nobody, like, if somebody said, So, you believe in God while you're in space, yeah? How come God never mentioned the Turians? Where do the Quarians fit within the Bible? Where's Quarian Jesus? Where's Rachni Jesus? Bibbidi bop, bibbidi bop. All these resources are mine. Also, sucks to be this dwarf planet stuck in an asteroid field. And very soon we're gonna have over 300 iridium. 25, are you sick? Oh yeah, because there's one right next to the sun. Why in the world would there be a planet that close to the sun? That's not a planet, that's an overcooked piece of toast on a galactic scale. Super Platinum! You will give all of your Platinum to me, for I am Platinum Man. All Platinum is mine by name. All your resources belongs to me. Launching probe. And we'll take that because E zero does not come lightly. You just keep throwing rich planets at me. Launching probe. I'm not going to have any probes left. Also, another camo world. Probe away. Always nice to find platinum rich worlds. Even if we're taking all the platinum before the indigenous species of these planets can rise to power and covet it themselves. Like, I honestly don't know if I need any more Iridium at all. We have over 300,000. Then again, I think some upgrades cost like 50,000 of each, so we should probably just grab while we can. Rich world after rich world. Why? Give me that palladium. Only because the platinum is catching up to the palladium and that just like hasn't happened since the start of the game. <laughs> Super Spike, give me! Whenever I see a spike of resource that's more than just one resource, I'm like, oh yeah. Oh yeah, it's all coming together. Probe away. Probe away. And 
that's all the probes for this galaxy. Back to the mass relay. 58%. So either there's a shit ton of planets in that one solar system. Okay, there's just gonna be a shit ton of planets in that one solar system. Okay. Okie dokie. Or maybe not. One, two. Oh no, th and then there's a moon. And then there is a moon! Wahoo! Probe away. Now, while I'm scanning, I might as well, like, talk about what other things I've been doing. Right now, it's mostly been playing a bit of Watch League of up. Legends. Despite all, like, oh, it's toxic. I've been having fun. You can mute people. It's fine. And plus, if you really just want a casual experience while playing the game, you can just play against bots with other people. And most of the time, you get most of the rewards of doing things. Like, literally, I think the only thing that's, like, a nice reward thing for playing with, uh, both with and against other people in the normal game mode is if you perform top of powerful yes, you have chance of getting a free Hextech box, which is basically, oh, you have a chance to unlock things. But then you also need a Hextech key, but you get key fragments of people like, hey, you played the game chill, end of round commendation. And plus you also have chances of getting Hextech crates and keys with occasional uh, events, challenges, and quests, so... But yeah, so far, I've been enjoying League of Legends. And then occasionally an event thing will just come across and you're like, Here, five billion skin shards. Which out of context sounds terrifying. Granted, it's also a bit... <laughs> the system of the skins is a little bit wonky, but manageable. Because when it comes to, like, getting, like, skins for wards or champions, you need to make them real through orange dust. But to get orange dust, you need to break down skin shards. Or, uh, acquire it through that kind of system. Because, like, the overall system is, like, difficult to explain, but I'd say it is rather simple overall. But at the same time, if you don't have the orange dust, you can just wait until you have three champion skin shards and then roll them together to get a permanent one without spending any orange dust. So I guess it's okay. All the same, I think Mass <laughs> League of Legends could give permanent skin shards 50% of the time and you will n still never <laughs> get all of them. Because there are way too many goddamn skins in the game. And like five champions have all of them. Probe launched. Probe. I wonder how they decide which champions get skins. Because if so, depending on how that goes, some champions never get skins. Launching probe. But the worst thing is, you get a skin shard for a champion you don't own, and they're super expensive to get. And the only way to get them is either through the in-game currency, or an earnable currency that takes forever to get enough of. Ah, the nature of free-to-play games. I'm honestly surprised that League of Legends doesn't have a similar, hey, give us like 20 bucks and you get all current and future champions like other free-to-play kind of games do. Then again, League of Legends is like 
one of the first. So it's not that surprising that it's a bit wonky. I guess they just decide, eh, we don't need to sell people champions in bulk. Just iridium, huh? Bit of palladium. I'll save it for the small planet, because it probably has more. Well, not planet, but moon. Anomaly detected. And of course it's rich, because they want to torture me. Launching probe. Well, I'll need to save one probe for the anomaly itself. Hell yeah. Super resource mountains. And now... Anomaly time. Anomaly detected. Prothean artifacts detected on planet surface. Artifact site is protected by powerful energy barriers. Scans detect muted mechanical signatures consistent with hidden automated defenses. Oh no. Not the hidden automated defenses. Those are my least favorite thing. I prefer the obvious automated defenses. Element zero! Kinetic barrier strength reduced. Oh, what? Alright, just drones galore after me. Oh, hey, scan place. Scan, scan for me. I ran into an invisible wall today. I think I just sat on a rocket drone and it died. Fear my power. Ow. No! Why do I hit ceiling? This is a moon! It has no ceiling! Nice that you can shoot and scan at the same time. How do you miss rockets at point blank range? Thank God this is the Hammerhead, because Mako would have gotten shot there. Granted, Mako was a bit sturdier. But these rockets are smarter. Kinetic barrier strength reduced. Kinetic barrier deactivated. Path is clear. Heading on in. To kill people. To kill everyone. Including me. Okay, that just went into a wall. I thought it was a mini Rachne. But Blue Suns? This site is spectacular. Time, however, has proven to be the real enemy. Even with those Blue Sun thugs hired to protect the dig site, we barely managed to erect the shield before the Geth arrived. 
How can they know our movements almost before we do? Am I beaming my thoughts directly to them? I must find out how they're doing this. I shall ask Dr. Oloy for whatever help he can provide. Maybe Dr. Oloy is a traitor? Maybe he got sovereigned? Somehow? Though that would kind of, uh, lessen Sovereign's awesomeness if there was, like, a second Reaper about. Dr. Aloy must have been indoctrinated by the Reapers. I well, I actually called that. To a Geth ship. I that actually talked that. I wonder if he was just crazy, though, or if he's right. This might be useful. Biotic damage. I can increase things. It's too late for me. They're still in my head, stealing my thoughts. I can't keep them out. I've got no choice but to destroy this relic. And myself. Hmm. Kind of crazy. Understandable, though. At the same time... Oh, hey, it's another one of those memory balls. Dr. Case would never understand the deal I made with the Collectors. He's obsessed with these Protheans. He would sacrifice everything to learn their secrets. It nearly cost me my life, but I did it for you, Helen, to ensure you remain safe. The damned Collectors agreed to spare your colony in exchange for this Pro Prothean find. I can only hope you remained innocent of any of this ugly business. It was all for you, idiot. But yeah, I've seen this before. I found it in Mass Effect 1, or at least one like it. I plugged a thing in the bottom, and it gave me Oonga Boonga caveman memories. We never did no, ha learn if the co consort survived. Come on, Shep. This is going to be a boss fight, isn't it? LOL! It just became small! became a bouncy ball of doom. Mission summary, Dr. Case's research station found. Prothean artifact recovered. Bio amp upgrade, plus 10 squad bonus. Standard firmware shipping with bio, bio amps is designed to work with a variety of alien races and nervous systems. By hacking this firmware to relax built-in safety protocols, more powerful mass effect fields can be generated. Each hack must be done carefully, tuned to the individual's nervous system, or there's risk of nervous system damage, sensation losses, or blindness. Oh boy. Blindness. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Glad you're okay. Kate Bowman. Kate Bowman, who I, I've heard that name I remember that name from Mass Effect 1, but I forget exactly where she's from. Kate Bowman. Ah. Shepard, I called in some famers and found out how to uh to get you and what you're working on. Uh, we've got a big celebration planned for the anniversary of you and the others saving Terra Nova. Last year, we added a memorial for you, too. I guess that was premature, huh? I figure finding out who's attacking colonies is why you had to go undercover, so I won't invite you to come give a speech or anything, but I wanted you to know that all of us living on the colonies are worried about what's happening in the Terminus systems, and I'm glad you're, uh, and I'm glad you're there to help. Th there's a lot of crazy military talk going around. I'm glad someone's there who's not going to take the easy way out. Thank you again. Martin Burns. Udina said this would reach you. Oh, hey, Udina. Who's Martin Burns? I don't know. I know Martin Burns is the character we met in the last game, but kind of interesting that Udina relayed my information to him. I wanted you to know that I haven't forgotten what you did for me the, cra the day those crazy biotics took me. Oh, it's the chairman guy. That's one of the first missions I did. You talked them down and you got me off that ship alive. I won't lie to you, I took this job for the pull in power. I saw the biotics issue as a stepping stone. Something good to put on my resume. And I was wrong. We all serve humanity in our own way. I don't know what you're doing, but I'm going to see to it that humanity reaches its potential with a minimum of bloodshed. I'm getting letters to thanks from L2O Biotics who just received their reparations. Those letters should really be coming to you. I just thought you should know. 
Good luck. I've taken some political heat, so don't know that any offer to help you would ever be useful, but if you need me, I won't let you down. Neat. Artifacts catalog. The artifacts you gathered might give us a lead on a larger Prothean site. They have incredible value for historians and might be instrumental in building our understanding of Prothean legacy. Excellent work in mitigating the Geth presence, Commander. We will keep you apprised of further Geth activity uh, should it threaten mission integrity. The burst of energy that coincided with your retrieval of the Prothean artifact contained coded information. Most of the data was beyond our ability to track, but the threads we were able to decrypt have provided new avenues for research on energy transfer and biotics. It will keep the scientists busy for years to come. The data indicates that the artifact is currently inert and not dangerous. We wonder, however, that if Dr. Case had more time, would he have unlocked its secrets? We will continue his research. A landmark find for humanity. Good work, Shepard. And also one that isn't super dangerous. How may I help you, Commander? That'll be all. I'll be here if you need anything. I just want to run. But when I run past her, I talk to her. Advanced training? No. Biotic damage. Upgrade that. Because why not? And nothing else. Shepard. Can I talk to you? you got a minute. Later. Uh, updating crew dental records. <laughs> all Cerberus personnel have cyanide capsules and molars. Primitive. Ocular nerve flashbangs harder to disarm. Anything else? I'll let you. We'll work. be here if you need me. At least he's fun to talk to, even when he says, "Sorry, I'm busy." <laughs> Cyanide capsules, so primitive. I just realized I've not been saving. <laughs> oh, I really should be saving, Billy. I really wish you'd be saving. And I also forgot to start my, hey, you should probably stop timer. For a time that would be good to, hey, maybe stop. I always like to keep track of my time, especially considering I keep fucking going over time. But now this galaxy should be 100%ed. Yep, this galaxy is 100%ed. Alright, buy fuel, buy probes, and I was wrong, uh, 10 probes cost, just 10 in general. Alright, now we're gonna do it, we're gonna head to the Citadel, recruit the Master Thief and talk to the Citadel stuff and just wander around the Citadel really, and then we'll do do do. Wow, this place is tiny. Understandable, I guess. But this place has nowhere else to go. Okie doke, doke. To the Citadel! Inner orbit! Nice to see you, Citadel. Supposedly constructed by the long extinct Protheans, this colossal deep space station serves as the capital of the Citadel console. Gravity is simulated through rotation and is comfortable 1.2 standard Gs on the wards and a light 0.3 standard Gs on the Presidium ring. Even though we know that this was made by the frickin' Reapers at this point. Wonder if I'll run into any more Keepers. Actually, it'll be interesting to see how much of this place has been rebuilt in the interim. Surprise, motherfuckers! The Normandy's here! Would be interesting to see people freaking out like, Wait, the Normandy? I thought that blew up! And then they see Commander Shepard stop. <laughs> Step off the Normandy. If in if enemy crow can get close to you, they'll charge. You don't want that. <laughs> hmm. Actually, we'll keep the crazy Solarian back home. Health forty percent and weapon damage. <laughs> John survive. Uh, no, not John. Jacob's survival skills and powerful will to live make him even harder to kill. Good for you. I took a taxi. Commander Shepard, enter the password and receive a free gift. <laughs> 
can't enter the password. <laughs> well, advertisement terminal. I think this is another Zahid, a DLC Got recruit. Problems with collectors? Try Kasumi's credit services. You amuse me. Please tell me your password, Commander Shepard. Silence is golden. Silence is golden. Good to finally meet you, Commander Shepard. Kasumi Goto. I'm have a you, fan. Have you been briefed? Has Cerberus filled you in on the mission? Honestly, I'm shocked they didn't come to see me sooner. My fault for being hard to find, I guess. Why the secrecy? What's with the password and the sneak in Iran? Are you in trouble or something? I'm the best thief in the business, not the most famous. Need to watch my step to keep it that way. I also needed to make sure all this was legit. And I have no doubts now. You're the real Commander Shepard. Hmm. You and Cerberus. What brought you to Cerberus? That's a bit of a story. Short version, they were looking for me, so I trailed them to find out why. Turns out they were looking for someone to join you on an important mission, and were offering a serious signing bonus. I had a thing I needed help with, so I made them a deal. And here we are. Hmm, what deal? I assume this deal is something I should know about. Yeah, I guess it slipped their minds. <laughs> I'm looking for my old partner's gray box. A man named Donovan Hawk took it, and I'm planning to get it back. Hmm, heist. What's this heist you're planning? Not here, Shepard. You'll get a briefing when the time comes. I need time to nail down the details anyway. Fair I've enough. I've taken the liberty of getting you some evening wear, though. <laughs> you want to look presentable. Hmm, Donovan Hawk. What do you know about Donovan Hawk? Mr. Hawk is a well-respected businessman. Arms dealer, murderer, generally not a great guy. His mansion's famous for being hard to crack, but I have a way in. And I think We're just talking about this out in the open, and I love it. Expecting trouble. I doubt Hawk's the kind of guy who takes kindly to people sneaking into his house. I always expect trouble. That's why you're here. Hmm, gray box. I assume a gray box is some kind of hardware? It's a neural implant. Illegal in most places. Stores memories, thoughts, secret codes, illicit information. Interesting. This one in particular belonged to my Gray partner, matter, Katie gray box. Okuda. We worked together for a long time. Before Hawk killed him. And your partner. Tell me about this former partner of yours. His name was Keiji Okuda. The best hacker and entryman I've ever known. Unfortunately, he slipped up and made himself infamous. He stole something he shouldn't. He warned me it was bad. Something that could spark interstellar war if it got out. That information... got him killed. What did it say? What could he have found that's so bad? He wouldn't say what it was. Just Fair that enough. it was dangerous. He said if it got out... Humanity would be in trouble. He encrypted it, wrapped it up in his own memories. To decode the information, you have to sift through all the time we spent together. Now those memories are all that's left of him. I see why you want it. I can understand why you'd want to get it back. Getting it back will be easier with your help, Shepard. We'll take care of it. If that's what Cerberus promised you, we'll get it done. It'll be fun. And if we're lucky, you won't even have to draw your gun. We should probably wrap this up. You look pretty silly standing there talking to an advertisement. See you on the ship, Shepard. Another infiltrator like me. We'll say before we talk to Garrus. I thought it might be nice to come back here and see how it's changed. But it's just like it was. Same right. dirty streets, same unrepentant scavengers, same revolving door prisons. Being security here is a terrible job. This is exactly why I left. See, sir. I'm sorry, sir, but I'll need you to remove any biotic amp you might be wearing. What? Why? Unfortunately, sir, biotics can be used as a weapon. The rules require me to confiscate all amps. Could you please hand over yours? I don't have one. I'm not a biotic. Oh. Well, when you objected, I thought... You humans are all racist. Lol. This recruits is a 20 kilo ferrous slug. Feel the weight! Every five seconds, the main gun of an Empress-class dreadnought accelerates 1 to 1.3% of light speed. It impacts with the force of a 38 kiloton bomb. That is nice. three times the yield of the city buster dropped on Hiroshima back on Earth. That means... Sir Isaac Newton is the deadliest son of a bitch in space. Now, serviceman Burnside, what is Newton's first law? 
sir. An object in motion stays in motion, sir. No credit for partial answers, maggot! Sir, unless acted on by an outside force, sir. Damn straight! I dare <laughs> assume you ignorant jackasses know that space is empty! Kinda of funny. Can I help you, sir? Security seems heavy. It's been a couple of years since I passed through here. Security seems to have tightened a bit. After the Geth attack, there was a review of security protocol. A few minor changes were made to reduce the risk of Geth infiltration. We apologize for the inconvenience. Do you think a Geth would stand out? <laughs> Assumptions are dangerous. Be alert, be safe. Thanks for your time. Next. That's a hilarious line. You'd think a Geth would seem <laughs> would stand out. Figured they say something about our weapons. Shut it down. What? Do you seriously think? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Sorry for the inconvenience, sir. Our scanners are picking up false readings. They seem to think you're uh, dead. Technically, I was. I was listed as missing in action a couple of years ago. Would you mind checking in with my captain? He can reinstate you in our system. He's just past the scanners on your right. <laughs> You'll have to make him scream a little. He's not going to tell you everything just because you ask. I, I know, sir. If you don't have the stomach or you're worried about being reported, I can take care of it. No, sir. I can handle it. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> it appears our scanners seem to think you're dead. Yes, I see the problem already, Commander Shepard. My console says you're dead. Hmm. Identify me. Are you not worried I'm some imposter claiming to be me? We have the best screening equipment in the galaxy. Those scanners can sample DNA from skin flakes. Hell, if you have unregistered gene mods, they can even figure those out. Hmm, can you fix Your it? Your sergeant said you could help with that. Usually, you'd have to go through the station security administration to reactivate your IDs, then to customs and immigration to gain <laughs> access to the Citadel itself, and probably a stop by the Treasury. Spending a year dead is a popular tax dodge. But I can see you're a busy man. <laughs> so how about I just press this button right here, and we call it done. Hmm. Is that legal? Couldn't one of us or both of us get into trouble for that? There's no way to fool the DNA scanners in that tunnel. You're you. Why wait in long lines and fill out a mass of useless hard copy paperwork to get to the same place? The council does everything by the book. They've had thousands of years to write it. Sometimes things need to get done without a committee vote. Hmm, seems a bit irregular. You're not big on formalities, are you? I'm with them right up until they keep people from doing their jobs. Fair enough. There. I just saved you about nine days of running around. That said, you should head up to the Presidium and tell them you're still alive. The Council probably wants to talk to the one who saved their scaly asses. Hmm. How do I get there from here? What's the easiest way to get to the Presidium from down here? Head back through the security checkpoint and take a public shuttle. Hmm. That's my plan. I will. Having access to the council and the Spectre's resources would be useful. Yeah. The council can get anything. Best thing about working CSEC is that any equipment, information, or money you need, you get. Anyway, something else you need? Or can I get back to work? Hmm. Sovereign's attack. It looks like most of the damage from Sovereign's attack has been repaired. The Presidium was pretty shot up, of course they fixed that first. <laughs> All the wards got hit with debris when the ship exploded. Most of the damage was superficial and the Keepers got things restored fast. Tasery Ward got the worst. A big chunk hit near the Dillanaga Concert Hall. They're still clearing wreckage and trying to get power restored. Hmm. Zakira Ward. Tell me about this place. All the wards are more or less multicultural, but the other four are dominated by Asari, Turians, or Solarians. In Zakira, we've got major enclaves of Volus, Elcor, and Hanar. There's also a human commercial zone at Shinakiba. We've got a few Krogan walking around, and I think I saw a quarry in the other day. Humans in Seasec. Last time I was here, there were no human captains in Seasec. Well, CSEC took a lot of casualties when the Geth boarded the Presidium. The Special Response Division was hard hit. They stopped turning their noses up at human resumes. They needed bodies in uniform, and we had the most experienced bodies. Finally, abusing suspects. I overheard your conversation. Make him scream a little? This isn't the Presidium. 
All they have to worry about are protesters outside their free speech zones or someone's poodle crapping on the grass. Down poodle here, still we exists. Have drugs, organized crime and murder. Policing a ward is like policing New York City. Sometimes you have to work outside the council's rule book. CSEC has changed. Hmm. Well, goodbye. I should be going. You need anything else? Let me know. Hello, Avina. Welcome back, Shepard. It has been two years, three months, and 17 days since the Citadel last welcomed you. This is the Zakara Ward Transportation Hub. Public shuttles and shopping are available through the CSEC security cordon. CSEC presence. There seem to be a lot more CSEC officers than the last time I was here. In the wake of the Geth attack two years ago, additional security precautions were implemented for the safety and security of residents. In addition to increased CSEC patrols, weapon carry restrictions have been tightened. Hmm. Did it work? So has crime decreased? Violent crime has decreased by 23%. Property crime has decreased by 41%. Incident clearance has improved by 16%. Sovereign's attack. It looks like this place has recovered from Sovereign's attack. Repair of the damage from the Geth attack is ongoing. There is still extensive damage on Tasery Ward. What about the Reapers? Yeah, it was Sovereign who led the attack. A Reaper. I have no information on a Reaper. References to the term exist in some parahistorical Council on galactic extinction cycles. Liars. I guess blaming the Geth for everything is easier than trying to explain the Reapers. Hmm, stores. What stores are available on this level? Only one store exists on this level. Citadel Souvenirs offers licensed mementos of your visit. Their line of Starship models is well regarded. That's all for now. Thank you for using Avena. Have a pleasant day. All right, Rapid Transit, Warehouse, Serta Foundation, Saronis Applications, Zakira Cafe. Dark Star Lounge, Rotom Expeditions, Calm Terminal. Welcome to Citadel News Day. Hey, it's Emily Wong. Officials in the Systems Alliance remain tight-lipped about the recent disaster on the pioneer colony of Freedom's Progress. The human outpost is believed to have been destroyed, with no survivors on record. Details are sketchy due to a news blackout. This is the latest in a series of frontier settlements lost by the Alliance. The Hanar Shrine of the Enkindlers plans a prayer vigil for the deceased. <laughs> the the Hanar. Hanar maintain that the lost colonies are the Prothean's wrath. After human explorers defiled a Prothean data beacon two years ago on Eden Prime. Technically, that was the Geth and Saren. Good day, my friends. Welcome to the Citadel. What an endorsement. Since these stores are owned by the Council, do government employees get a discount? Yes, in fact. Uh, what's your position? Spectre. I'm a former Spectre. My goodness. I didn't know Spectres quit. <laughs> I don't believe you qualify for a discount, though. How about if I throw in an endorsement from the man who defeated Saren? You are Shepard? <laughs> My goodness. The increase in sales would certainly be worth offering a discount. What do you need me to do? Just voice your endorsement into my console. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. <laughs> Excellent. I will get my it's hilarious to to that this is a Paragon action. Welcome back. Citadel These Souvenirs. Stores are owned by the Citadel. Line. That's correct. Citadel Souvenirs outlets are owned by the council government. The profits generated by sales are used to maintain the station. We offer an assortment of decorations suitable for display in your personal quarters. Thanks of for your course, time. citizen. Space hamster. <gasps> Fish. For my aquarium. Oh, Normandy. I should get that for free, but I'll buy it. Destiny Ascension. And I'll buy a space hamster. Thank you for the space hamster. So do you want to get one of the fish or maybe a model ship? How is a model ship supposed to remind me of the Citadel? It's festive and you like ships. All right, there's weird noises all around.
Your space hamster has been delivered. The Destiny Ascension has completed its 20 colony victory cruise. I've already heard about that, I think. But still, it's hilarious that I sold out for a discount at a Citadel store. What can I do for you? One endorsement? Tame. A human can hardly take down a feral Varen, let alone a Shatha. Who do you think you are? Commander well, Shepard. Shepard and... The Shepard? The one that put down Saren Arterius? Oh, you do know me. <laughs> the spirits. Shepard, in my store. I don't suppose I could convince you to record an advertisement for me. Sure you could. Can we work out a discount? A discount? I'd name my firstborn <laughs> after you if you ask. Can we record it now? Just speak towards my console. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. <laughs> no other gun shop has that kind of endorsement. Just by going in and saying the same goddamn thing. Sniper rifle damage. I'll take it. Offhand ammo pack. A simple but popular modification. Increases spare ammo. Yes. Aegis vest. Increases health by... Might as well grab it. It seems cheap. <gasps> A new sniper. Umbra visor. Increases power damage. Sentry f interface. Increases shield strength. Sure. And I'll go ahead and bump up my... This looks interesting. Machine gun. Fully upgrade a weapon. Fully? That's my question. Have you tried Galaxy of Fantasy yet? I love that game. It's based on Turian mythology, but it's really fun. I hear it has 11 billion players now. It is so weird being back on this place. Do you have any games you'd like to trade in? You get two credits toward a new game. Two credits? It's GameStop. GameStop has returned to haunt us all! It says there's a comms terminal. Maybe it's on the inside? I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my. So, what do you think? Maybe a shotgun? Hilarious. Now I have to hear that every time I walk in. It's like a non stop barrage of death. Talk to Jacob. Been years since I've been to the Citadel. Never changes, does it? No matter how long you're gone. Comforting to some people, I guess. Living in denial that all this could end. Oh, hey, it's interview lady. The people want to hear your story, Shepard. Sure. Police have been seen in Al Jalani, Western Manu. Yeah, <laughs> remember last time. I interviewed you two years ago when you first became a Spectre. You presented your case very well on camera. Do you have a minute? You made me look bad. What, so you can try to do another smear job on me? Now, Shepard, you may object to my methods, but we're on the same side. You're bad, you're news. I just want to give your story its due. <laughs> you got a spotlight now. I love my ma my helmet. Sources claim you were at the heart of the Presidium during the Battle of the Citadel. It's fair to say the course of the battle hinged on your words. If true, you told Admiral Hackett to assist the Destiny Ascension, costing hundreds of human lives, and securing the continued dominance of the Citadel Council. We stood as one to save many. The Turians lost 20 cruisers. Bigger each had a crew around 300. The Ascension, the Asari Dreadnought we saved, had a crew of nearly 10,000. But surely the human cost. The Alliance lost eight cruisers. Shen Yang, Emden, Jakarta, Cairo, Seoul, Cape Town, Warsaw, Madrid. And yes, I remembered them all. Everyone in the Fifth Fleet is a hero. The Alliance owes them all medals. The Council owes them a lot more than that. And so do you. Commander Shepard, first human specter. Hero of the Battle of the Citadel. Check bid. We get it? Great. Bull rushed on my own show. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. 
Dark Star Lounge. <laughs> Bull rushed on my own show. <laughs> it's what you deserve. I'm just glad that I got to Paragon you. <laughs> Dance question mark. Dark Star Lounge. But it's always nice to be able to walk in and be like, I am Paragon, and then you just Paragon the hell out of them. <laughs> but I kind of love and hate that the first thing that I do, coming back to the Citadel, have just... <laughs> I come back to the Citadel... And I just start making endorsements. I wonder if he'll come back to bite me in the ass. Because I'm endorsing every store I walk into. I'm not even gonna... I hear this is the best place for food on Zakara Ward. High grade provisions. Oh hey, it's what I need, I think. Ascension novel, written by human author Drew Carp... The popular military historical novel Ascension focuses on several lives warped and destroyed by the human survivalist cult Cerebrus. I'll buy it. And Revelation novel. Revelation is a popular military historical novel by human writer, same guy, that dramatizes human conflicts and political expansion following the 2148 discovery of the Prothean mass relay on Pluto and the beginning of a human galactic exploration. Considering that... This is the best place for food on the whole damn citadel. <laughs> the whole damn citadel. Shepard, are you looking to continue your education? It's one thing to know how to shoot a gun, but do you have the career skills to deploy and manage today's high-tech network infrastructures? The Henley I think they're using Mass Effect 1 model there to make it look lesser. I like how it says, Shepard! He's like, do you know me? Ah. He's in custody pending sentencing. Big lull. I think that was the guy that was at, uh, going on about Armistice Day. Okay, that's nice. That's cool. They have a little thing. It's small, but it ties into my backstory. Hell yeah. Used chip salesman. <laughs> Used chip salesman, huh? Greetings, Earth Clan. You will find oh, chip salesman. Sale here. I thought it said chip. Chef. I think he told me to go fuck myself. This clan. I want her arrested. What? I was just walking by. I'm sorry. I'm trying to take a statement here. There's nothing to talk about. She stole my credit shit. Arrest her. I did not. Just because I'm a quarian. I need you to stop and take a deep breath. You're mocking me, Earth Clan. Oh, they, they're giving them the more interesting, like, vocal. It's a poor choice of words, sir. I apologize. Corin, opinion. You say you're falsely accused? I was walking to the used ship dealer when he barged into me outside the Serta Foundation. He didn't stop or say he was sorry. A minute later, he runs up with C-Sec and accuses me of stealing his damn shit. Hmm, maybe the chit fell. He ran into each other outside the Serta Foundation. Is it possible the chit fell out of his pocket there? I guess. Sure, all I know is and, I didn't take it. And then you look at ships a lot? spend a lot of time at the used chip dealer? I mean, yeah. she's a quarry, so she's probably like nice looking models. at parts and stuff. I'd like to buy one and take it back to the fleet, but... That's a great idea. A ship would make a great pilgrimage gift. 
You know about the pilgrimage? I traveled with a quarian who was on hers. I... Wow. I didn't know anyone here would do that for one of us. Hmm. Cisek opinion. Do you know who's telling the truth? My Omni tool can tell the quarian doesn't have a chit on her. That she could have stashed it to recover later. You know what quarians are like. No, the only quarian I know. Well, I've met a lot of quarians. They're nice. See what Bailey wants to do with her. Fullus. You say she stole your credit chip? She must have. When I left the Certa Foundation store, she ran right into me. She just ran into how you. Does running India mean she stole your credit chip? That's how pickpockets work. They bump into you and use that as a cover for rifling your pockets. But you're so short. You how could she your reach your pocket? Clanless quarians, thieves, all of them. Hmm. Did you leave it at the store? Are you sure you didn't leave your chit at the Certa Foundation? Of course not. You think I'd make a mistake like that? I didn't even buy anything there. That chit stayed in my pocket. I'll look into I'll this. I'll see if I can find out what happened. Sir, this is a C-Sec matter. And I'm a we'll specter. We'll do all we can. Bah. All we bah. to resolve this. We don't need civilian help. If you do happen to find the chit, please let one of our officers know. All right. Let's go. Be careful out there. You ever had ramen? It's a delicacy back on Earth. There's a Volus outside who lost his credit chit. Did you happen to see him drop it anywhere? I don't recall any other Vol clan entering my showroom today. Just that migrant clan girl putting her fingers all over the brochures again. Hmm. You. What can I get you? Don't bully the Elcor. I felt her hand go into my pocket. Please move along. You say she stole your credit chip? She must have. When I left the Certa Foundation. Let's go. Be careful out there. Hmm. Kind of sad that I can't just play, uh, press J and go to the Diddly. Just find the credit chip. Let's see. I just got a refund in exchange, and I was told to pick up a new army jail converter here. I don't think you have the right. <laughs> it's the, I think it's this no, guy again. To go to the warehouse. This is the warehouse. The guy that's just like, oh, I got a refund. Hmm. This is probably part of a quest somewhere, because there doesn't seem to be anything activatable in there. It took me a long time to get this refund. It's a decision on the Yep, the, it's the refund man. I love uh, that's gonna be a running gag, isn't it? Cartoon's credit chip. Avolus was in here not too long ago. Did he drop a credit chip? And now that I saw, he didn't purchase anything. Hmm. What's your job? If everything's done by catalog. Why are you here? Customer service. Returns, exchanges, and the group rates. We also find that sales are better when there's someone to personally interact with. Although Interesting. I'm not sure why a human company exclusively hires a salary ah. to work their stores. Hmm. Certa Foundation. Tell me about your store. The Certa Foundation is a human organization known for its genetic therapy regimens and genetically engineered products. Certa is probably best known for the development of Metagel. Hmm. Goodbye. Of course, citizen. Metagel capacity and life support webbing. I'll buy some webbing. I don't really care about Metagel, but might as well get it locked down. This should come in handy. Get upgrades squared away. I wonder if I'll run into my friends, the scan dudes. Welcome to Sarinus Applications. Can I interest you? Ah, Shepard! Do I know you? No, but I know you. Even a senile Hanar would remember the human who fought off the Geth. I thought you were dead. I thought yeah, I was too. <laughs> Please, look around the store. It's a pleasure to have you here. Hmm, Cartoon's credit chip. was in here not too long ago. 
Did he drop a credit shit? Oh, yes. He bought some environmental system drivers, then left without his chit. I didn't notice he'd left until he was already gone. If you see him, tell him I have it here behind the counter. Thank you, dude. Goodbye. Thanks. He'll be glad Not to hear. Not a problem. Have a good day. I should probably go around doing the, hey, want an endorsement? Because I think it just gives me bonus diddly. Welcome back, Shepard. One what do you, need to you know, do? I use quite a bit of software in my line of work. It's a shame so few understand their own equipment. Besides the most obvious point and go nav interfaces, anyway. You wouldn't believe how often I hear, why is the ship turning around? We're only halfway there. <laughs> oh, I would. <laughs> you know, I like your products. Any interest in an endorsement from the human who defeated Saren? I'd be thrilled, but I don't think I could afford to pay you for it. Don't worry about it. What if we just work out a discount? Absolutely. Just speak into my console here. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. That will be splendid. I can edit that and have it working right away. Thank you so much. Yeah, I just get free frickin' Paragon just for... <laughs> what do you think, Michael? Good day, citizen. Well, <laughs> with respect... You don't an endorsement. Oh, my. It's a deal. Just, just my give me my Paragon you. points. I sell out not for money, but for Paragon. <laughs> you know what quarries are like. I found Please the credit chip. You forgot your credit chip at Serona's applications. The clerk is holding it for you. Oh, well, the quarian could have stolen it, but didn't. I'll close this event report. But I'll be watching you. Get a permanent residence, or I'll run you in for vagrancy. Are you too serious? What? You falsely accused this girl of stealing from you. All you have to say now is that she could have stolen it? Now, just a minute. And you? She gets harassed and insulted by this guy, and you throw in a threat to arrest her for vagrancy? How about if I run you in for obstruction of justice? Try and arrest Shepard. You think you're gonna run in a former Spectre? I think both of you should get out of here. Oh, son of a... <laughs> Thank you. I... I wish I could give you something more than words. Will you be alright? Can you take care of yourself from here? I guess. I mean, most nights I eat nutrient paste in the Turian shelter. But I'm surviving. Thanks. Always nice to... <laughs> shove some assholes around. I think that's everything here. Let's go to Rapid Transit and move along. I bought my upgrades. Did my things. Endorsed a bunch of things. Listen, I may be working for Cerberus, but I would fucking testify there. Oh! You can go back, you can request. And, uh, the upper section is a code. You'll find Rotom Expeditions and Dark Star. Oh, we already were there. Main for landing. Alright, let's go to Presidium. I see you. Admiral Anderson. This meeting would be more productive if Udina was to join us. My advisor is unavailable. As counselor, I represent the voice of humanity and the Alliance. Shepard will be here and... Oh, Commander. We were just talking about you. Good to see you, old friend. It's been a long time, Anderson. I hope the last couple of years have treated you right. There have been some rough spots. It's good to have you back. We've heard many rumors surrounding your unexpected return. Some of them are... unsettling. We called this meeting so you could explain your actions, Shepard. We owe you that much. After all, you saved our lives in the battle against Saren and his Geth. I need your help. The Collectors are abducting human colonists in the Terminus systems. Worse, we think they're working for the Reavers. The Terminus systems are beyond our jurisdiction. Your colonists knew this when they left Council Space. You're missing the important part, Counselor. 
The Reapers are involved. Ah, yes, Reapers. The immortal race of sentient starships allegedly waiting in dark space. Uh, we have dismissed that claim. Shepard, no one else encountered the hologram on Ilos that told you the truth about the Reapers. Only you and your crew ever spoke with Sovereign. I believe you. But without evidence from another source, the others think Saren was behind the Geth attacks. Why would Geth follow Saren? Saren was an organic. The Geth would never accept him as their leader. They only followed him because he was Sovereign's agent. Saren was a compelling and charismatic individual. He convinced the Geth the Reapers were real, just as he convinced you. It was part of his plan to attack the Citadel. The Reapers are just a myth. And what about Sovereign? The goddamn ship that we latched on. That you believe it, but that doesn't make it true. Examine Vigil or Sovereign. Go back to Ilos and talk to Vigil. Or just look at what's left of Sovereign. It's obvious the technology is more advanced than ours. The hologram on Ilos is no longer functional, and we have found nothing to suggest that Sovereign was not a Geth creation. The Geth are capable of remarkable technological achievements. This is probably why Saren recruited them. This Reaper theory proves just how fragile your mental state is. You have been manipulated by Cerberus, and before them, by Saren. Hmm. I deserve better than this. I kept Saren from conquering the Citadel. I sacrificed human lives to save this council. We are in a difficult position, Shepard. You are working for Cerberus, an avowed enemy of the Council. This is treason, a capital offense. That's too far. Shepard is a hero. I'm on this Council too, and I won't let this whitewash continue. Maybe there is a compromise, not a public acknowledgement given your ties, but something to show peripheral support. Shepard, if you keep a low profile and restrict your operations to the Terminus systems, the Council is willing to offer you reinstatement as a Spectre. Reinstate. What does that mean? Will I need to start filing reports? That won't be necessary. This is a show of good faith on our part. We cannot become involved in an investigation regarding the missing colonies in the Terminus systems. But Spectre reinstatement shows our support of you personally. Well, I'm honored. It's better than anything, I guess. I accept your offer. It's good to have the Council on my side. Good luck with your investigation, Shepard. We hope for a quick resolution and a quick end to your relationship with Cerberus. Well, that went better than expected. You realize the Council's offer is just symbolic. They won't actually do anything. Hmm. No need to burn bridges. Even if they don't help, I might as well stay on good terms. True enough. Don't worry about the Council or the Alliance. I'll find some way to keep them off your back. Shouldn't be too hard. As long as you keep to the Terminus systems. Hey, Udina. We need to talk about... Shepard. What are you doing here? I'm visiting an old Stop friend. to see how Anderson was doing. You don't have to cover for me. I invited <laughs> Shepard here to speak with the Consul. We just finished our meeting. You what? Consular, do the words political shitstorm mean anything to you? Relax, the meeting went The fine. Council reinstated my Spectre status. They're just happy I'm staying out with the Terminus systems. Yes, I could see how that arrangement works best for both sides. But you really shouldn't have taken a step like this without consulting with me first, Counselor. I don't answer to you, Udina. Why don't you go to your office and think about that for a while? Of course, Counselor. <laughs> Good day to both of you. Glad that I put... I'm happy I put Sorry Anderson in that. charge. He Who has my back. Over the fact that I got the council position instead of him. Sometimes I need to put him in his place. It didn't bother me. Udine is just doing his job. True enough. He's got his uses. And if you want something done on the Citadel, he knows who can make it happen. Plus, he's always happy to attend all those formal diplomatic functions I can't be bothered with. <laughs> The damage to the Citadel. How long did it take to get this place back up to speed after the battle? Still counting. The main areas of commerce and the most populated wards are complete. But estimates for total restoration are sitting around five years. The Keepers always surprise us, though. It's like our repairs are annoying. We'll put up an ugly new bulkhead, and in a few days, they've made it seamless. <laughs> we never really thought of them as heavy lifters, and I have no idea where they get the resources. But we'd never get done without them. 
Glad to know that they're not influenced by the Reapers at all anymore. They evolved the remains of Sovereign. I'm surprised no one can tell Sovereign isn't Geth technology. Didn't they examine the wreckage? We don't have much to look at. Pieces have been rained all over the station. It was chaos, with who knows how many species combing the wards for their dead. We secured as much of it as we could. But between the Keepers and a whole lot of unauthorized salvage, there's no way to account for even half of that thing. Another reason why they don't want to acknowledge what Sovereign was. Because somebody might have made off with a piece of Reaper. The war with the Geth. Last I knew, we were still fighting holdouts. Well, here and there. But they are increasingly disorganized. Yeah, because... It's long since stopped being called a I'll, war. I'll talk about that More in a like moment. Cleanup. Not that you can ever discount them. But we haven't had serious casualties for months. A civilian ship will spot an enclave and we send in a squad to clear it. They're not quite the boogeymen they used to be. I think the reason for that is because they're clearing out so many geth that the thing of, uh, that Tally said, the geth gets, like, not smarter, but more effective the more there are of them together because they share resources. They don't get smarter, but it, they do get, like, it's like, uh, they don't get a faster processor, but they do get more, like, RAM, I guess. <laughs> what about Caden? What happened to Staff Lieutenant Olenko after the Normandy was destroyed? Staff Commander Olenko is still with the Alliance. But he's working on a special mission. It's classified. Ah, damn. I can't say any more. Not while you're working with Cerberus, I'm sorry. Ah, fair enough. And how have you been? How have the last couple of years treated you? Serving on the Council isn't how I plan to spend my twilight years. Sometimes it feels like I'm just beating my head against a wall. That's politics. Knowing the truth about Sovereign is brutal. It's nightmare stuff. I can't blame others for not wanting to believe it, but I know how important it is, so I keep trying. Fighting the good fight, right? Well, click everything. You should come with me. Forget Udina and the Council. Join my crew and help me stop the Collectors. I'm too old to go racing across the galaxy. Even though that's probably Renegade. Plain, I've got an important job to do here. The front line. That's got to be yours. And I'll get back to the front line. I better go. Of course, Shepard, I understand. I wish I could do more to help you. But if you ever want to talk, I'll be here. Just do me a favor and be careful. You can't trust Cerberus. That's partly the reason why I sent some of that uh, classified information over to you. The wreckage of the freighter Turalan was found on an uncolonized planet in the Dranic system. Salvage teams reported no survivors. I wonder if I can go there now. Ah, I can't go elsewhere. Well, back to the Normandy, I guess, because I think we got everything. I'll give everything to, like, uh... Walk about and talk to characters. Like the chef. Our plumber chef. Give him the ingredients he also wanted. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Research. 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 You're not dead! <laughs> You're still alive? How come you broke whatever cover you've been under for two years but didn't offer an exclusive interview for your favorite reporter? Whenever you come up for air and are ready to talk, let me know. A gift of words. Consort. Ah, you're alive! Commander, I thought that my gift of words had been incorrect, an embarrassing notion, but my contacts tell me you yet survive. I am pleased to hear that your journey continues, though I sense that you head toward an even deeper darkness. When you fought Sarah and only your resolve was tested, but now I fear you cannot rely only on your own strength. Take whatever steps you must to ensure that those battling at your side fight with clear minds and glad hearts. Even more, like, this is basically clear-cut Hey. Do loyalty missions. Talk to your crew. <laughs> Do all the side stuff first, I guess. Dr. Chloe Michelle. Oh, the medical ward lady. 
Dear Commander Shepard, I was relieved to hear that you were alive. I was devastated to hear the destruction of the Normandy and those people who didn't make it off in time. After you went missing and were presumed dead, I would feared I'd never see you or Garrus ever again. You and he did so much to help clean up the wards when you were hunting for Saren. The galaxy needs more people like you, and I'm glad that you're still here to protect those of us who've grown to depend upon both of you. Is Garrus with you again by any chance? After being so happy to hear your survival, I wondered if perhaps he might have ended up with you. I left a few messages on his public accounts, but you know how he is about checking his mail, and I don't think the comm address I had for him works anymore because he hasn't returned any calls. Always so busy on his grand crusades, his great passions that he focuses on them to the exclusion of anything or anyone else. Anyway, if you know where he might be, I would really love to hear from him, or both of you could come by the next time you're in the Citadel. And upgrades. Oh, that's just, can't upgrade from here. That Kasumi is an interesting addition to the crew. I can see why she's good at her work. She never reveals anything meaningful about herself. <laughs> it's all on the surface. It'll be a challenge getting to know who she really is. Anyway, what's up? How is the crew? Is there anything I should know? Nothing right now. Anything else, Commander? That'll I'll do. Up. I'll be here if you need anything. Weapon upgrades. Increases damage by 50% against armor. Improves number of rivals for entire squad. Increases the tungsten content of slugs from calibrating the weapons. Shield piercing, too. Okay, we have a lot of money, apparently. Give me everything. Emergency shielding. Unity restores mem squad member shields to full strength. Shield emitters are optimized. Oh, wait. And I guess I'll go ahead and buy this. And let's see. Shepard. How can I help? You got a minute Having trouble working between your interruptions and Edie's insistence that insane experiments <laughs> endanger your entire crew. Hard to concentrate. Affecting morale. Anything else? Hmm. Squad status. Are there any medical concerns I should be aware of on the team? Cerberus personnel in excellent condition. No squad concerns to report. Always some matters, but nothing affecting immediate mission. Okay, I'll, I'll let you work. We'll be here if you need me. Let's see. The new sniper. Well, the new wave and police sniper designed to overload active defenses such as shields, firing three shots with each pull of the trigger. The incessant burst is so fast all three rounds will be in the target by the pull, uh, time the barrel has moved a millimeter, increasing the stopping power without sacrificing accuracy. As an added benefit, the noise of the burst is comparable to a single rifle shot in duration, making it no easier to... I'll try it out, at the very least. Wish there was like a firing range that I could use. I'll check out my captain's cabin. My space hamster! Utterly adorable. My fish! Feed the fish! Yay! Relic. <laughs> the relic's just in my goddamn room. It's interesting that you actually get to just have things be about. Terminus, Cerebrus Assault. Increases ammo, shields, and health. Yeah, I, I don't think I'd want to wear that out. Disappointing that all the bonus things like negotiation bonus, tech and biotic storm speed. I still don't know what storm speed is, but I just I like this. Increases ammo and shields, and plus it just looks badass. Also nice to see that my helmet made it here. I'll head down to engineering. More than likely the other DLC. Let me guess. No. Oh, maybe she's downstairs. I'd assume that's where she'd be. Back for more. Always to know you. Hell of a mission down there on Zoria. Can't believe Vito got away. Twenty years of tracking gone, just like that. 
But I gotta let that go. We have more important things to do. Hope that lets you go, man. Well, it is an infuriating thing to know that he got away. Just know, if you're so badass, you'll be able to get him next time. What can we do for you, Commander? Nothing else. Here we are. Well, do, Commander. And so, <laughs> I do find it funny, though. Commander, you're working for Cerberus, a group that is uh, antagonistic to us, your bosses. And it's just like, ah, uh, yeah, the council that basically dragged their feet every step of the way when it came to me fighting Saren and the Reapers. That had a hard time believing that he was, Saren was a part of the Geth to begin with. Damn. Did your family get out of there? I don't know. There's no communication. Never mind. I'm sure they're safe. The death flags wave on. The death flags, they wave on. Don't laugh. I like those books. Romance novels, crime novels, the classics. I think There's I see warrior cats in there. The feel of actual paper in your hands. Their musty smell. It's relaxing. KG used to find books for me while on the job. Some of these are more valuable than the objects he was hired to steal. <laughs> That's my favorite piece, painted for me by a child prodigy from Elysium. She was the cutest thing. She was kidnapped by slavers who hoped to sell her on Omega. I wasn't about to that let was, that happen. That was going to get dark. I set up an a buyer's rep to get a special tour of the slaver's vessel. Once aboard, I freed the girl and smuggled her off the ship. She painted that for me on the way home. I'll never forget how it felt to watch her work. That was potentially dark. The Red Rose. That used to be my calling card when I first started out. In place of whatever I took, I left a single Red Rose. Theatric. It wasn't until I met Keiji that I realized how silly it was. He had a way of making you realize when you were just being sentimental. And statue? I stole that on a dare, believe it or not. <laughs> there was a big museum show coming to Ilium. Artifacts from Earth going on tour. Very high security. Keiji dared me to steal this. So I broke in. Hacked the security, put a few guards to sleep, and replaced the piece with a worthless duplicate. They never knew the difference. My first museum job. Nowhere near the last. Hilarious. Liquor. <laughs> well, let's talk. People are talking out there. And I hear it all. Disturbing. I usually travel hidden away in cargo bays. It's nice to be able to look out a window for a change. Mess Sergeant Gardner might just be an evil genius. Emphasis on the evil. People <laughs> think he's a bad cook on purpose, like he's trying to teach them a lesson. I think his ramen is okay, but it's really hard to ruin ramen. Hilarious. I'm not really sure what to do with myself. Not much call for thievery aboard a ship. That painting has a special place in my heart. Definitely looks nice. An art nice. collector hired me to steal it. When I got there, the painting was gone. On the way out, I saw it being hauled off by another thief. I chased him down, tackled him, and took the painting. That's how KG and I met. <laughs> we never did turn it into our employers. She seems like a fun character. And you get ingredients. Commander. Those provisions you provided were perfect. I owe you. I've already thrown together some of my calamari gumbo. Here, try a bite. <laughs> sure. This will probably give me a debuff like uh, the lady in Truth Elden Ring. Told, it's based on an Asari recipe. Seems a little <laughs> cannibalistic to me with their tentacle heads and all, but they ain't no good grub. Anyway, thanks again. You really came through. I would have laughed. It was like... Negative forty percent experience. Going to save just in case, because I don't want to piss off my boy. Shepard, need me for something? Just want to talk. Have you got a minute? Can it wait for a bit? I'm in the middle of some calibrations. Okay, talk boy. Talk to you later, Garrus. I'll be here if you need me. Rupert, 
There's something different with tonight's meal. Better ingredients. Seems like you put in more food and less ass. Yeah, yeah, keep talking. Oh yeah, I forget, there's no longer stairs here. Alright. You're already engineering. And there's nothing else to speak about. No messages for you, Commander. Thank you. Secretary. Oh! There's a new place! Help Kasumi! We do now! Shall help Kasumi indeed. In the Boltzmann. Whenever I hear, I've never heard the name Boltzmann except in one other place, and that's in Tales of Symphonia. Where Boltzmann's, like, uh, book was, uh, for learning a heal. A healing spell, not learning a specific wrestling villain. I'll go ahead and fire one there for the extra platinum. But I assume this is going to be Kasumi's loyalty mission because she's a DLC character. And the DLC characters don't really get super in-depth. They just walk up to you and say, I'm gonna work for you. By the way, here's my loyalty mission. Uh, if only my boy Garrus was that easy. Because again... I'm ever so slightly worried about how things will go. This being so much more linear compared to Mass Effect 1, I feel like they're gonna make use of that and eat me alive somehow, and I don't like it. And again, <laughs> due to the achievement, like, not even like achievement spoiler, it's more like, oh hey, here's a Medal of Honor. Oh, can I look at my Medal of Honor from Saving the World universe? And then I look and it's just like, oh no, this is just a list of achievements. Let's read some. Um, what's this achievement? Save all of your uh, crew from the suicide mission. Oh! <laughs> On the one hand, that kind of means that uh, I know that there's something that's going to come and potentially kill all my crew. Or at least a percentage of my crew. But on the other, other hand, that also means that I am now aware and can try to better prepare and save them. Launching probe. It was hard enough to lose Ashley on Vermeer. I don't want to lose even potentially more. And I don't... And, and especially on top of what the consort sent in her message, I don't think a high enough Paragon score is gonna save me. Launching probe. I do not think a high enough Paragon score is going to save me. Launching probe. And, again, because, like, I just have a feeling that it's going to be an even Broke worse away. Vermeer. Because at least I had a choice to not go to Vermeer immediately. Even if you get locked in once you go there and have to deal with the consequences. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna have warning on this one. Maybe it's like some latent uh, piece of pop cultural osmosis of just listening to various fun facts and things. Maybe back in the heyday, I might have heard something in a various YouTube videos about Mass Effect 2. 
but I don't know. I just, I have, a, I'm very paranoid right now and I'm scared. I'm just worried. Oh, I can scan. Oh, it's already depleted, it says. Kind of funny that they let you scan it, but kind of world building if rich guy exists here. The businessman. He would have, yeah, strip mined this place himself. Knock enemies off ledges of power attacks such as throw concussion or even well timed melee strikes. Master Thief! Experimentation of their unique abilities increases their health and weapon damage and all this stuff. You become Master Thief. Kasumi is specialized in her tech mastery, great reducing diddly D. Give you overload. Oh, this is gonna be a one, uh, one-on-one -on -one mission. You clean up well, Mr. Solomon Gunn. <laughs> Pop won't know what hit him. Solomon Gunn. I assume Solomon Gunn is my cover. You run a small but talented band of mercs out in the Terminus systems. Precisely the type of person Hawk respects. I took the liberty of giving you a reputation, papers, witnesses. Article in Badass Weekly. <laughs> Just don't start talking business with him, and you'll be fine. What's up the outfit? I take it I'm wearing this getup for a reason. You'd look really out of place at a society party in armor, don't you think? You look but I'd great. be a merc! You should wear this stuff more often. Hmm. And Mr. Hawk Remind himself. Me, what kind of man are we dealing with? Hawk's a weapons dealer and smuggler. He killed my partner and stole his gray box. Other than that, he's not so bad. Rich, charismatic. Willing to crack open a man's skull to get at the neural implants inside. Hmm. What's the Now's plan? probably a good time to fill me in on the details. You have been waiting patiently. Our friend Hawk is throwing a party for his closest. Okay, friends. this is cool. A couple dozen of the I always love transitions like that. Mass murderers you'll have to want to meet, all bringing gifts as a tribute to the man himself. And there's a Turian Our statue. Is a lovely statue of oh. your old friend Saren, <laughs> rendered with loving detail and filled to the that... brim with our weapons and armor. That's you can cool. Keep the pistol as long as it's concealed. They won't hassle you over a sidearm. Once inside, we'll make our way to Hawk's vault door, somewhere in the back of the ballroom. Then we case the security and start peeling away the layers. The statue should be there, waiting for you to crack it How open. How dare that guy look kind of like me? And then we just waltz into the vault and take back KG's gray box. And I'll finally get a chance to say goodbye. This isn't just another heist. You've worked really hard on this. KG must have meant a lot to you. Was I that obvious? KG's gray box holds a lot of priceless personal memories. It's all that remains of who he was. But the secret he discovered is dangerous. I wouldn't bring you here if it wasn't. <laughs> then let's go. This ought to be interesting. That's what I'm going for. <laughs> a frickin' Saren statue. Kind of fitting that the rogue's predator, stop. not predator, but specter, would be carrying <laughs> our illegal weapons and shit. After you, Mr. Gunn. James Gunn. Just one moment, sir. There seems to be an issue with the statue. Whatever could it be? Is there a problem? Yeah. No, Mr. Hawk. Just doing a scan. I don't believe we've met Donovan Hawk. Hmm. Nice. Uh, Solomon Gunn. Solomon Gunn. A pleasure. Sir, the scanners aren't picking anything up. Hmm. <laughs> I don't think our guests would come all the way here from Ilium just to cause trouble. Do you? He thinks that nothing on the scan is something to be you worried about. You through, Mr. Gunn, with my apologies. But I will ask your companion to remain outside. You understand, I hmm. hope. So we have a problem. Care to explain why my friend has to stand outside? I don't like the look of your friend, so she stays outside. Simple as that. Okay. No problem. You're the host. I just want to hear Enjoy your reasoning. Party. She'll be able to get in on uh, her own. That didn't go as I expected. Why did he turn you away? Any idea why he'd send you away? No. We've never seen each other in person. And no one knows what I look like. Just watching his ass, I'm sure. 
I can't blame him. Well, what's the plan what now? What do we do now? We go on with the plan. You'll just have to do all the talking. I'll stay out of sight and stick with you the best I can. Just don't talk business. We'll keep radio contact in case something goes wrong. <laughs> you just turn invisible on we the need steps? We the door and case the security. We'll figure out the next step then. All right. How did you ever contain that situation in Hull? Oh, that? A quick application of force, a little pressure, and bam, done. Thank goodness. I thought those rabbits would dog you for years. That goes to a security room. We'll probably have to get in there at some point. Let's case the vault and figure out what we have to do. I feel like walking around like Agent 47. This place is a goddamn art gallery. What's your read on that Archangel guy? I hear he's dead. Or gone or something. Good riddance, I say. Uh, data pad. One of the guards must have put their data pad down. Private Reams. No way we can sneak out of that party. The place is locked down tight and Security Chief Rowe's in charge. No way Rowe would let the, uh, that get past her. I'd rather stand around and be bored on guard duty than risk her wrath. Sorry. Chief Rowe, huh? She's I hear Mr. Hawk's vault is exciting. Dang it. Hawk's bedroom, I believe. Wow, who's his architect? This is a very impressive place. Or a very large one, at least. Kind of annoying that idle chatter breaks up my radio we haven't raised suspicion hello Hawk's private rooms are off limits without proper clearance very so sir very nice there's more here than I expected we just walk in Hello, Saren. Password protected voice lock, kinetic barrier, DNA scanner. Looks like an EX700 series. Everything a vault needs to be impenetrable. This gonna be a problem? Please, remember who you're talking to. A DLC character. We'll need to get a voice sample for the voice lock. You'll have to go chat up Hawk for that. We'll have to find a password too. DNA, child's play. We should find plenty of DNA samples in Hawk's private quarters. And the barrier? Cut the power. Never fails. If we can find it. Keiji could get through a system like this in his sleep. And I'm better. Let's get to it. Right. First voice. There he is. All you need to do is keep him talking long enough for me to get a voice print. Pull out the charm on this one, Jeff. Whenever you're ready. I'm ready now. Be super paragon, I guess. After you. Mr. Gunn, hope you're having a good time. Wonderful. That scene at the door hasn't soured your evening, I hmm. hope. Expecting trouble? I understand the security, but who would dare try to break into Donovan Hawk's home? Gun, in our line of work, we attract a certain element. Few understand the pains we take to keep the barbarians at bay. People these days want comfort, entertainment, love. They don't see that the galaxy is fragile. They only have to worry about simple luxuries. Why? Because people like me and you Wait. are doing the terrible things that Was keep that? the galaxy spinning. Uh, I, th I think I recognize those two. Cleaners, Was that Emily Wong and the, the galaxy's gleeful delusion ex of peace. Uh, criminal but person lady? For the things we do. Wonderful, ch wonderful chatting. No, no, I don't think it was Emily Wong, but it's like, I only see so many characters in that kind of dress. I said, get him talking, and you got him talking. <laughs> You've got enough of a voice sample. Let him go. 
Enjoy the party, Mr. Gunn. Once you we find too. the password, we can get past the voice scatter. I got Paragon to get a merciless... I can sneak in. But what if I can Paragon my way in? Entirely possible that the password might be in his personal quarters. Oh, never mind. Maybe it could be in there. Some say Commander Shepard is still alive. Really? Oh, please. It's wishful thinking at best. Let me unlock that security room door for you. There we go. Don't mind me. Ready when you are. Here they come. Can't be back here. Take them down. I probably should have dropped my stuff. That looks painful. Yeah. I have an idea. See what you can find. Nance, I have that problem too. So many passwords around here. Can't keep them straight. The password for tonight is Perugia. So it's not even that easy to remember. It's no big deal. Voice scanner meets the password's only useful to hawk anyway. After this party, wanna grab some beers? Got something? The password is Perugia. Huh. That's the name of the man who stole the Mona Lisa. Nice. I tapped their communications. I think we can get past that private room guard. Tell him Chief Rowe sent you. Now, I just take the voice sample we got from Hawk and... Got it. Now we can crack that voice scatter. Luckily, I just needed my pistol. And why sneak in when I can just get official access? Mr. Hawk's private rooms are off limits to guests without security clearance. I have authorization. I have clearance to go in. On whose authority? Chief Rose. I have authorization from Chief Rowe. Okay, one second. Chief Rowe, Samuels. Have you given access authorization to Mr. Hawk's private rooms? They have access, Samuels. They'll stop bothering me. <laughs> Got it. Sorry to bother you, ma'am. Lol. <laughs> okay. I don't even think You're she put on a voice all that Enjoy much. The party. I don't even think she put on that much of a voice. Okay, I'm happy that I didn't sneak down. Look for anything we can get usable DNA from. Just make it quick and quiet. Plant. It's clean. It's a plant. <laughs> Not a great saliva sample, but it's still useful. We're going to need more than this for the scanner, though. Good morning. Time to wake up. Sorry. No hair. No skin flakes. The housekeepers must be thorough. Hmm. No DNA. Looks like Hawk's been trying to crack Keiji's gray box. Looks like he's missing something. He hasn't cracked the encryption yet. Okuda Decryption Project Update. Little progress to report. We have now completed dictionary attacks using words and phrases from 48,000 galactic languages. Research into Okuda family has not produced any matches. It is unlikely that a random brute force approach would produce result within our lifetimes. Given the nature of the gray box technology, it's possible that the decryption key may not be a password at all. It could be a memory, an emotion, even a smell. The permutations could be infinite. I suggest that we begin the investigating alternative methods. We can probably get Hawk's DNA off the data pad. He seems to have obsessed over this. But I'm not sure there's enough. Let's keep looking. Holographic interface. Won't find a sample here. The cleaners don't dare touch treasures like this. We can get some skin cells from the dust. That should do it. Let's get out of here. Not yet. I'm stealing from this bastard. Probably gonna have to kill him at the end of this anyway.
but more than likely we're gonna be shooting our way out. Thank you for your DNA. It looks like the barrier's power cable runs under the floor here. I'll set your Omni tool to scan for electromagnetic fields. Oh yeah, we have to deal with that. Don't mind me, mister. I'm just looking. One sec. Lol. That should take care of the barrier. Hawk throws a hell of a party. Yes. I'm not too pleased with the caliber of people he's invited, though. Alright. We got in without alerting anything. That got it. The barrier's down. DNA identification affirmed. Welcome, Mr. Hawk. Password required. Perusia. Voice ID accepted. Welcome, Mr. Hawk. I'll check for security cams. Go ahead and get dressed. I'm gonna have to have Saren watching me get dressed. Utterly humiliating. Considering we already killed some people in security. So there's probably extra security down below. Time for a heist. Maybe I'll try going invisible myself as well. Oh, we get to choose. Let's see. I'll let you keep the hand cannon. The destroyed statue. With the Statue of Liberty? What? So this is Hawk's fault. Very nice. This scanner will hone in on the gray box. It's not far. Creepy. Ancient Egypt. I could still get money for something like this, even outside the Alliance. Asari go nuts for this sort of thing. Statue of How Liberty. How did Hawk get Lady Liberty's head? That's Damn what I'm asking. Hawk. Damn you, Hawk. Damn you all to hell. That's impressive. Not sure what it is, though. This looks like Quarian script. Wow. This has got to be old. When was the last time the Quarians wrote on stone? <laughs> I feel like its eyes are following me. Yikes. What the hell are you? Wow. Imagine that thing coming at you in a dark alley. A model of the Kara. It's like a Turian Titanic, the way I hear it. Yes, I know where it is. A I'm just looking around. model of the Kara. It's like a Turian Titanic, the way I hear it. This is nice. Oddly relaxing. Hawk has good taste. I'll give him that. Michelangelo's David, but like... Michelangelo's... David. How do you get it? Just... Wow. Think we could get this out through the door? <laughs> I'm gonna quickly save again. Because once we take that, alarms are gonna ring. Oh my god. There it is. Along with guns. Don't bother Miss Goto. It's code locked. He knows you. How? I had a feeling that was you at the door. I knew if it was really you, you'd get through anyway. You know me. I don't like to disappoint. 
I need what's in your grey box, Kasumi. You know I'm willing to kill you for it. I'll admit your skills are impressive. You got into my vault like I'd left it open. But you're still going to die. I wish I could. Just like your Renegade is so much more Let's like Han Solo in this, it feels like, to a degree. This is where your special skills come into play, Shepard. Let's do this. Time to kill. Here they come. What the hell? Cloaking. I prefer my single shot though. Checking blueprints. There's a landing pad to the east. Let's get out of here. Joker, bring the shuttle in. Now. Just wanna make sure I'm not missing anything. They are clock. need to look out. I am the lookout. Damn it! We have to find another way. Maybe with the giant ass tank. Multiple. A PDA. I'll always hack PDAs. Liver of blue, white, and orange. Green, purple, green, leaning right. Almost missed you. Leaning right? I looked all the way right and I almost missed. I thought he ragdolled all the way to hell. Probably should have used that. But hey, we... Oh, we have to do that anyway. My property. It's not even your property. Kill Solomon Gun. Bring the girl to me.
I definitely prefer my high damage pieces. Get down. No need to get down. Takes forever to blow up anyway. All right, audio glitches. I can't clamber up like that. Nice music, though. They'll probably be like, oh, but you're a thief. That makes it okay. Oh, what? you're already up there. Sick. Sorry, Commando. Get it? Because it's in a sorry Commando, and I said, sorry, Commando. It's all in jokes. Dead Merc. Coming handy. Always oh, nice to have more upgrades. Busy. I'll take care of this myself. Down you go. Poking. Already. Yeah. Lol. Going silent. When you go silent, you go fast. Ah, another PDA. I might just keep you on, like, if you were this effective, even outside of your loyalty mission, lady, you are hired. Wait, storage crate. I'm gonna quickly save. Just in case. I think this is the first reused room that I've noticed. Oh, hey, that weapon that I can't use. And clips from my armor. Did he find... This the easy way, Allow me to show you the hard way. Look left. You see that? I don't know what you're talking about. What? How dare you! Well, I think it's part of like a, a system, so like... Up ahead. You do a certain number of damage, amount of damage, it goes into a thing. Ah, power cells. Hell yeah. Lay down your weapons. Got to get back at the full shield. If I can get to the chip, I can take down the shield. I'm really starting to hate the eclipse. Doing 
Okay, I hate that it bounces my view around like that a bit. Get in cover! Damn game sometimes. You are scary, lady. You are terrifying. You're not fully human, are you? Good thing we're not trying to escape. We're gonna kill you. Get down. Your boss is gone. He thought so highly of himself. Easier to please than Zaid. He wanted me to kill a guy at the cost of an entire refinery of workers. And there wasn't that much paragoning I had to do. we found is all here. It's big, Kasumi. If the Council ever got wind of this, the Alliance could be implicated. Kasumi, I... I encrypted the information to keep it safe. And I uploaded the encryption key to your gray box, so no one could get the whole package. But if I'm dead, and if anyone knows about this, then I've made you a target, my love. I'm so, so sorry. Keiji. I know you, Kasumi. You'll want to keep these memories forever. But you don't need some neural implant to know I'll always be with you. Please, Kasumi. Destroy these files. There's nothing more I can do to protect you. I, I can't do that. This is all that's left. No. Goodbye, Kasumi. The part of him that's in your heart. I love you. That's what's left.
Can't we save the memories? Is there any way we can just destroy the information? No. Keiji's a master at encrypting files. He lays the information into his memories. You can't get one without experiencing the other. I say keep the gray box, because it's in the Paragon corner, primarily. And plus the neutral is, it's what he wants. And usually they kind of double up on the Paragon part. If it's that important to you, keep it. Just make sure you're ready to live with the consequences. Yeah, I am. I'll stay off the grid. No one will know I exist. I think I want this. Thanks, Shepard. I don't know. This is valuable. It just felt weird. Gang the loyalty of the thief. Got to level up. Mission summary. The heist was successful. Keiji Okuda's gray box was recovered and remains in the Kasumi Goto's possession. Donovan Hawk was killed in the destruction of his gunship. Kasumi is loyal. Kasumi power unlocked. A destroying concussive charge is thrown that inflicts minor damage and incapacitates, incapacitates all nearby. New outfit. Designed for longer range encounters. Ah, new SMG. Yay. Huzzah. Damn you, Kasumi. Changed my outfit. I have to go change my outfit back. Hello, my dear space hamster. Squeak. It's a high-pitched actual person <laughs> saying squeak. Hey, got a minute? I really appreciate your help with the hawk heist. Did I you stole the plant? Gray box. It's so nice to have him back. Even in that form, I miss him. Not a lot of people go in and out of Dr. Chakwa's office, other than to get medical attention, I mean. I hear you shared a drink with her. That's really nice. That was ha that was before we I you got here. All that's happened. Old friends are becoming a luxury. She stole the goddamn plant. That amuses me. And I don't think there's, like, anything else I can do, like, uh, talking to anyone. Wish there was a way to tell more immediately. How may I help you, How's Commander? the crew? Is there anything I should know? Nothing. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. I'll be here. Any messages? No messages. I'll quickly check the upgrades. And then I don't know. Advanced training, tech damage, that's frickin' cheap! Tech duration! It's frickin'- oh, it's still frickin' cheap, but it wasn't credits, it was element zero. <laughs> I look at it, the most rare <laughs> of our diddly D. It's just like, oh, it's just cheap! And then I realize, oh, that's because it's not what I thought it was. And while it's definitely interesting, I'm going to go back to my heavy hitter single shot kill. I prefer it overall. Plus, it probably wasn't a good idea to check out a new weapon in to compare it to the old weapon when I got upgrades and haven't used my old weapon yet with the new upgrades only half our fuel remains all right mass relay time all that's left is 
recruitment, and this one diddly. We'll do this one diddly. And we'll pick him up. And depending how long it takes to do this side mission and the side things, well, this side thing, will dictate how long we go. Prison ship Purgatory, it's right here, but again, I don't wanna risk because Zaid and, uh, I already forget her name, the thief. They were single, just talk to, and, uh, get them immediately. That is a go, and not, not to mention they were also on, like, uh, hub worlds. So, like, you walk in immediately, grab them. That is a, specifically a, a, a prison ship for recruiting him. I feel like something's gonna go down. We're gonna have to, like, stop a prison riot. So... I, I just feel, I feel paranoid. The reason I got Kasumi, I just remember the name, is because she was just right there and the conversation. Same thing with Zaid, and because DLC character, I felt, like, a bit more comfortable grabbing them. I don't know if... The prisoner, Jack, is a, a DLC character or not, or if the warlord, like, mm, I would say no. I would say that the warlord, archangel, Jack the convict, and the good Salarian doctor, Do uh, Solus, are uh, main game recruitables because... I just feel like they would go for four. You begin with two, you get four more, kind of thing. Well, we'll do the side quest first. Because I am freaking paranoid. Probe launched. Launching probe. And because it seems like the only way we get new missions in this game is if it gets thrown at us. And the last time that a mission got thrown at me, main story style, that was Vermeer. Where it was potential to lose two or more of my crew. I know Rex and uh, was a potential to lose if you didn't do a bunch of side stuff to level up your Paragon or Renegade, I think. Away. To bring him in line. And then... Uh, I'm not sure if you could lose anyone other than Caden or Ashley. Though I'm kind of disappointed that Caden has only been seen in the opening. And now he's on a secret classified mission that we can't know about because we're working with Cerberus. And you want to know why I'm working with Cerberus? Because they brought me back to fucking life. And besides, they're actually doing something. On top of the fact that the council isn't doing anything about the Alliance's frontier problems, they completely ignored the Reaper threat, covered up Sovereign, and everything. Launched. Not to mention it's just like, oh, he got you to believe it. And did nobody talk to Garrus? He was there, and he was working at CSEC for a long time. Did nobody talk to him at least? Launched. Or Tally? Launching probe. About the Ilos hologram? They spoke to it. Launching probe. They were there when I fought Super Saren of Abomination. Probe away. They were there when I talked to Sovereign himself. Probe launched. Thank God that Anderson is the counselor right now. 
He has my back. Maybe not total in totality, but he is willing to stick his neck out for me enough. And I respect that. He has a job to do. But he's still gonna, like, help me as much as he can. Alright, 80%? Oh, probably because I didn't land on... yeah. Then I'll go ahead and... Buy three more probes at the cost of ten. And now let's look and see... How far away? We'll secure the smuggled cargo. Fly back, refuel, buy new probes, then go to Ploitort. Although it seems that it... Nope, this place has a lot of fucking planets. First things first, gonna look through the asteroid belt. I do think I see a large asteroid over there. I don't think you can see my cursor because I turned that off in OBS. So much resources. I'd rather have more than enough than not enough. So we're gonna gather as much as we can. Probe away. Give me that palladium. I kind of dislike the way the 3D effect is done on the graph. It makes it hard to judge what the true peak of a thing was. Because it doesn't look like it's going behind. It makes it look like it's going up. Because of the angle of the 3D-ness that they're going for. I personally don't dig it. I understand-ish what they're going for. It just doesn't gel with me. And from the looks of things, that was not a thing in the asteroid belt. Another rich planet. I'm gonna save my probes for any... At the same time, that is a big peak. I just need to keep my probes for peaks like that. Like super peaks. Launching probe. Probe launched. I wonder if the planets restock. Would be weird if they did, but cruel if they didn't. We have over 300,000 of these, of both Polydium and Iridium. Almost 400,000 of Iridium. So I, I really do want to focus on getting Platinum as much as possible, but you can't really choose what a planet has. I wonder if there was a way to not kill the mercenary guy. It doesn't seem like it. But at the same time, it's like, outcome, he died. So it's like, hmm, is there a way to fail that? We're gonna go ahead and see if this is just a land or if we need to scan and land. We can scan or land. Interesting. Launching probe. Got all four materials that time. Probe launched. Give me that platinum. And we're gonna go ahead and land. Who knows what's out there?
You two, with me. Let's see. I think single shot super powerful is better overall. Along with me, Max. Oh boy. And I still get a maximum of 10. So I don't want to use too much that destroys, but these things explode. I can't hide properly enough. That's annoying. They put the crates, what I presume to be the crates, next to exploding war bots. I don't appreciate that game. Yeah, I'll keep it this time. That was the main reason that we died. And now that that's done, we will make a save on land. Goodbye, 69. All the boxes? Why? Fuck you. Yeah, I'm beginning- I don't like this mission. I do not like this mission. Oh, we're gonna have them and they are- <laughs> Super bulky assholes. I'm gonna reload because fuck you, game. Give me my hit. This is like the stupid save the civilian missions in XCOM. Why do they not care that I'm shooting at them? It's gonna blow. And again, they can explode by the freaking things. Yeah, I don't like the design of this goddamn thing. This does not feel well designed, game. <clears throat> In fact, I might just say that this feels badly designed. Acknowledge me. He's garbage. gonna destroy those boxes. This is a badly designed mission. Luckily it doesn't seem like the explosion. The yeah, I don't like that mission. This mission is bad. I don't... Oh. 
Would that have done anything? Enemy ship spotted in orbit, beginning farewell protocol, engaging security systems, destroy command received, initiating data. Oh, locking access to terminals. So it wouldn't have even done anything, it seems like. Let me reread. Destroy command received, initiating cleanup, activating mech, locking. Yeah, so. Can't even do that. Yeah, this is a dumb mission, if you ask me. We're gonna have the. Destroyable boxes. Attacked by the giant mechs, so they take a lot of damage. Oh, but if you try and attack the giant mechs, they're gonna ignore you. Except when they don't. And oh, if you destroy them too close, they destroy the boxes. But it might not count if they destroy the boxes if you kill them and they blow up and destroy the boxes. I don't know. This feels like a very throwaway mission. And I say, blah. Twelve of twenty. I say blah to that mission. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Nice work on Duratar. Nice work. We knew Eclipse was hiding valuable cargo on Duratar. We, we couldn't land without fear of their mix destroying the crates. We're, we've wired the credits into your account. Damn glad we have you with us, Shepard. You're too small! What? I'm sorry, my mate. I leave you for a Krogan because you are not endowed as good for your species. Do you fear these words? Oh boy, penis pills. Therapy. Therapy? Who, who's getting therapy? Olar Han. I think I recognize that name. Shepard. Silence, phone. They say you're alive, that you cheated death, that sending you this is just, isn't just a pointless exercise as part of my therapy. They say a lot of things. I'm still alive. She still isn't. I hear you killed Benizia. Nicely done. Another woman I helped kill, if my information did any good. They want me to thank you. The Rachni would have killed us all had you not shown up. I would have been right. Why me and not her? Why did you show up then and not before? They think they can fix me. But maybe you're not really back. Maybe I died. Maybe I didn't close that door in time. Maybe I held it open to give her a chance and the Rachni ripped my suit open and I died of exposure there on Peak 15. Maybe I'm a martyr and this is an ugly hallucination before a glorious afterlife. But if I'm not, then thank you, Han Olar. I'm just glad that he is alive! Because I did look up a little bit because I was confused about the things, how things went down. Because, you know, I saw the enemy signs, and I was just like, what the hell was that about? So I reloaded a save after I stopped, just to see what would happen if I blew up the rack knife first and then went up there. And uh, all, of the, all of the guards turned on me. They were on Benizia's payroll. <laughs> and all of the innocent people were gone, including Han Olar. So, I don't know. The way I did things was kill Benizia first then go down and blow up the Rachni, and but because I killed Benezia, I got locked out of the upper place. And so I thought it was weird and was like, hmm, <laughs> how did things go down? Apparently fine enough if Han survived. If he's, maybe he's the only one to survive, who knows? But yeah, things be weird. Any new upgrades I can get, I'm gonna say no. The answer is no. And again, we can't talk to people. So... We'll just touch down on all planets, scan a bit. Primarily for... Away. Palladium, Element Zero, and Platinum right now. Well, that has some Broke Platinum away. in it. And a lot of Iridium. Oh, Platinum, yay. Speaking of Platinum, uh, Platinum Games. I love their games, although I do hear that their latest release under Square Enix, I think, crashed and burned terribly. Who would have thought paying $60 for a live service game 
uh, isn't a good idea, especially once people are starting to get wind of just how bad live service freaking games are. Especially from Square Enix. You know, the Avengers people. How do you make Avengers basically a super international, like, franchise, like, not blow up instantly in popularity with a high-budget AAA release? Oh, you make it fucking garbage. With a bunch of microtransactions and your single-player game. Well, not single-player, but your AAA $60 game. It was basically the comic book anthem, as in Anthem the uh, EA game that also crashed and burned. Oh, they promised that it would exist, that they would do more with it, that they would revamp it and re-release it as something good. No, it died. It died. It died bad. Granted, when it died, though, basically everybody cheered. Because it was not a good game. It was very bad. Now, I'm sure that plenty of people enjoyed it for what it was, but that did not make it good. But I haven't heard anything about Avengers in a while. Last I heard, uh, there was like some DLC problems. Like, uh, they promised, oh, the DLC will be released, yeah, but then it took them a while to actually release. The DLC, or something like that. And then the just continued issues overall with the game. Who would have thought a game that focuses on profit over, you know, just making a good game isn't a good game? Which is sad because a kind of more action oriented and in depth version of, uh, the Avengers games on, like, the Wii and PlayStation 2, like, Marvel's Avengers, where Galactus is the big bad. Well, no, no, Gal Galactus wasn't the big bad. He was definitely a mission, because the energy siphoner was stolen from Galactus. No, or something like that. It's been a while since I played Marvel's Avengers from like, I don't know, 2000 and sometime in there. Maybe like 2006. It's been a long time. But it would have been cool if it was basically like that. A nice selection of Marvel heroes, maybe even lesser known ones like Blade. A lot of people probably know Blade, but they probably don't know him as a Marvel superhero. I have detected an anomaly. Oh boy. I have found something. Alliance hotspot detected. Alliance sources request that all ships keep watch for signs of missing freighter MSV Estevanico. Lost one year ago at the sector. Any data recovered that sheds light on the Estevan uh, Estevanico's fate will be rewarded. Surface scans indicate the presence of a large shipwreck. Signature bear similarities. We'll continue scanning a bit. But yeah, it's just a shame because Square Enix's Marvel Avengers was nothing more than a frickin' cash grab. Launched. It's like at the height of movie Probe Marvel life. popularity. Probe launched. And they couldn't even do a better, like, story and... Away. Like gameplay than the old Wii version of the old Marvel's Avengers game from the mid 2000s. Shameful. Away. And then I think they actually made things worse. I think they actually cut down on, like, how much experience you could earn, or like how fast you could earn experience to a degree, and then started selling experience, uh, 
boosts. Which is extra hilarious because they cut experience and then promised to not uh, sell increase, experience increases. might stabilize it a bit. Can't save, which is a bit weird. Ah, here's how I go down. Wait, seriously, it feels like Square Enix is on a roll of making terrible decisions. And it's just like, why? Why must you make terrible decisions? I must make bad games. Like, even freaking Ball in Wonderland, the game director apparently sued Square Enix so that he could tell his side of the story and no longer be under NDA to reveal that no, a lot of the bad decisions weren't him, it was Square Enix. Uh, well, I don't know about that, but what I do know is that n nearing the end of production, he wanted to improve the game. Square Enix said no and basically stopped him from <laughs> making decisions. That's what the simple bit that I heard. Which is just kind of silly. We want you to make this game. Okay, I will make this game. By the way, we think you're bad, and if you make another bad game, we won't let you make any more games under us. And then he's like, hey, I want to make the game better. Again, I would like to say... How is one person, me, listing the ship so much? But surely there is like... Need to be careful. Scared. It's like if I look back, it stops listing. Feels weird. There's a, there isn't any more hanging things. Like, it started listing again. Well, it was kind of more to the other side. And now it isn't. I think those moments are just, hey, here's a bit of an action thing. Go uh, run back a bit. It just feels very weird and wonky. And I would say definitely feels like a DLC. Eh. 
beer. Silence, phone. I am running for my life on a listing ship of doom. Well, I could have gone back, but... I swear, it's like if I look... This feels like a weird logic puzzle. But there's not much logic to it, and it scares me. Again, it's like I look back at it. this mainframe. Data retrieved. Escape mission site. Good. That felt weird. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. An amazing find. Dr. Richard Talos, curator, Alliance Museum. Commander Shepard, you have our thanks for covering the data of MSV Estevanico. The data shows the ship was attacked and overrun by blood pack mercenaries and Vorcha soldiers, according to the dated records. This is the first Alliance crew to encounter the Vorcha. How frightened they must have been. We are sending salvage crews now to recover whatever they can for the museum. Thank you. And I do believe dee dee dee. So that should be all, well, actually. But I wish I could just check my journal. No more assignments. Just stop the collectors and the two dossiers. Which means we'll go get convict and go get uh warlord in just a moment after I do more scanning. Launching probe. Give me more, give me more, this rich planet will give me all. Launching probe. Wonder if we could sell excess Launching like resources. Probe. They probably wouldn't give it to us this early because they're like, oh, I want more credits for off-world stuff. Blah. And then you'd not have enough resources to do anything. Launched. They probably didn't want to have a noob trap like that. Hee hee ho ho, you wanted more credits. Which caused you to have nothing. Away. And once again, I am happy that I played Mass Effect 1, if only for the starting boost. Well, not only for, but it is nice that there's a starting boost for this game for having played Mass Effect 1. Launching probe. It's just a nice bonus on top of all of your past decisions of Mass Effect 1 getting acknowledged a bit. I like that they knew that they couldn't really fit everything from Mass probe Effect 1 away. into Mass Effect 2. So they were just like, hey, we'll have little emails sent to you from people that you encountered and rescued. Kind of makes you think uh, how many uh, how many few people the renegade side of the shepherds got <laughs> emails. They probably didn't get any. Then again, renegade in this case is kind of like jerk. 
but not terrible. And we ran out of probes, but we finished all of this. But now we head back, so that we can recruit the convict. And then after we recruit the convict, we can go recruit the warlord. But I think I will end this go with just recruiting the convict and then seeing how things go from there. We'll do the convict and that way once we come back later at another stream I can grab the Warlord and see where things go from there. Owned by the notorious Blue Suns Mercenary Company, the Purgatory was once an Ark ship used to hold Ark uh, agricultural animals. Now it is used to hold prisoners, whether taken in battle or sold by unscrupulous politicians under the name of subcontracting and outsourcing. Rumors abound that the Blue Suns turn skilled or fit prisoners into a Batarian s over to Batarian slavers, but few have ever seen the transaction and lived to tell about it. Its population is listed at 4,350, but independent journalists estimate it's nearly three times that in periods of overcrowding. And I need the most powerful one of all. The boy. Baba Booey. Considering I'm going in with a team, I'm gonna feel like uh, there's gonna be shooting on this. Considering how many blue suns I've killed, wouldn't surprise me. Prison break! Prison break! The dude said that he arranged for the release, but it's the blue suns. I don't trust the blue suns. Welcome to the Purgatory, Shepard. Your package is being prepped and you can claim it shortly. As this is a high security vessel, you'll need to relinquish your weapons before we proceed. No. I can't do that. Everyone stand down. Commander, I'm Warden Kirill, and this is my ship. The weapons will be returned on the way out. You must realize this is just a standard procedure. I'll keep my weapons. It's my standard procedure to keep my gun. I don't trust the Blue Suns. Let them proceed. Our facility is more than secure enough to handle three armed guests. We're bringing Jack out of cryo. As soon as the fun's clear, you can be on your way. If you'll follow me to out-processing for the pickup, Commander. Let's go. Yeah, it's just like, after what the Blue Suns have put me through, what they've done, I don't trust Cell them. Block 2. As you can see, we keep tight control over the population. Tight control indeed. Cryostasis. Each prisoner's cell is a self-contained. Oh, not even that. Unit. Only some get cryo, I guess. A few out the airlocks, as an example. The ship is made up of thirty cell blocks identical to this one. We house thousands of criminals. We can put the whole place in lockdown on a moment's notice. Good for you. Nothing goes wrong here. Hmm. Expense. Maintaining a population this size in space can't be cheap. We can cut corners that governments can't. <laughs> Each prisoner brings in a fee from his home world. These individuals are violent, and their home planets pay well to keep them here. And if they don't pay... What happens if the home world doesn't want to pay? We explain that we can't maintain the prisoner without their help. So we'll be forced to release him back onto his home <laughs> world at an unspecified place and time. Wow. Extortion racket. You don't have to agree with my methods, but don't question my Another motives. reason These are why people we don't trust you. Locked up. Warden, you. you what about you? Ship? I was in law enforcement on Palavin and got sick of seeing criminals escape out into the galaxy to carry on with their You know, crimes. that's why you release hunters, prisoners back onto planets at an unspecified time and place. Keep the criminals in space and the galaxy is a safer place. It's not principle. You do this because you think it's necessary? Every day I see the worst sapient life has to offer. Governments are soft, unwilling to make the hard choices. Someone had to stand up and make the galaxy safe. And finally, Can Jack. Can you tell me about Jack? Cerberus hasn't told you? Jack is the 
meanest handful of violence and hate I've ever encountered. Dangerous, crazy, and very powerful. You'll see soon enough. Let's, Let's keep get moving. on with this. Have there been escape attempts? We're in space. They have nowhere to go, and they know it. But still, we exercise extreme caution. These are dangerous individuals. Interesting. We have many ways to control the population. I'm going to confirm that the funds from Cerberus cleared. Out processing is straight down this hallway. Just keep going past the interrogation rooms and the Supermax wing. We're I'll getting into a firefight. Shepard. We are so getting into a firefight in this goddamn place. After a point, victims admit to anything to make the pain stop. No! No! Is there something I can do for you? Is this necessary? There's no excuse for beating a prisoner who can't fight back. This is a massage compared to what his victims went through. This has been This degrades you as much as him. We have orders. You're not important enough to make your own decisions? I admit, I sometimes get tired of this. Does this really get us anything useful? Stop this. For your own sake. Yeah, you're right. Call it off. At least for now. Hey. Hey, guys, over here. Let me ask you something. If you're buying prisoners, can you buy me? Man, I, I don't care where you take me or what you do to me. It's got to be better than this. We're here for Jack. Sorry. Jack? Forget what I just said. <laughs> I don't want to go nowhere with you. Buying prisoners. I thought this ship was a prison, not a market. Sometimes people buy cons so they can do some punishing of their own, if you understand. Warden sells this to whoever can pay enough. Interrogation. Why are they interrogating that prisoner? He knows something? Nah, that's Bimmy. He don't <laughs> know nothing. He offed someone in the showers yesterday, I think. Guy he killed was worth a lot to the warden. Yeah. Sucks to be Bimmy right now. Do they know when the stop? They're going at it pretty hard. Do they ever kill prisoners by accident? I haven't heard of anyone dying. Warden can't make money off us if we're dead. Funny thing, though. The more a guard does it, the meaner he gets. So they rotate him through. You're crying. So, what are you in for? <laughs> I killed a few people. Only about 20 or so. And I blew up that one habitat. Small time compared to most of the guys here. Hmm, life on the ship. What's it like here? Bad. And you gotta watch out. Damn, but someone's always after your stuff. Your smokes, your clothes, your pride. I haven't taken a shower in three months. Yeesh. And Jack. Tell me more about Jack. Why do you hate him? The worst trouble you ever saw. Mixed with some crazy and way too much biotic power. That's all I'm saying. All right. Well, hope things don't go too bad for you. I should go. Wish I could go. I hear the screaming in my head. It's nice. Yeah. It would have been interesting if I could have bought out his sentence to a degree. But I felt, feel like that might have led to something. But hey, if he doesn't want to get near Jack, fine by me. What's this way? This is the Supermax wing. It's off limits. All Out right. Processing is back down the hall on your right. They'll bring your package there after the cryo thaw is finished. One downside to not having a mini map I don't know if my allies follow me all the way anymore. Out processing is through the door on the far side of the room. You bastards don't even clean the goddamn floor of the blood. You're more valuable as a prisoner than a customer. Yeah. Drop okay. your weapons and proceed into this open cell. You will not be harmed. What about serving the galaxy? You talked up your noble intentions with this prison, but it turns out you're a criminal like the rest. Activate systems. Nice shooting. Enemy. What? Two renegade? Screw you. Why did I get two renegade? 
when I just called him out on what he said. Oh, sorry, throwing the words of a criminal back in his face when they're going to kill you anyway. That's renegade. The far side of the room. Not to mention, it's kind of hard to tell when something on the left side is going to end a conversation or not. My apologies, Shepard. You're more valuable as a prisoner than a customer. Drop your weapons and proceed into this open cell. Let's you negotiate. Maybe I can change your mind. Activate systems. See? But I'm not getting undo renegade for no reason. That's scary, am I? Reinforce out processing. Shepard is loose. We need to get Jack out of cryo. What the hell? What the hell? I was flying through the sky and Having to finish them off. Mm. Firing a high impact shot. Kind of weird that he doesn't finish reloading if I get out of a cover. Shepard is on the loose. Repeat, Shepard is loose. Get people down here. You had your chance. Oh, Shepard is loose. Shepard is loose. You brought this on yourself. Shepard, if you hack that control, every door in the cell block opens. It's the only way to get Jack out of cryo. I'm doing it. Be ready. Welcome to hell. You made it yourself. The mechs are like, what the hell's that? Ah, you're Jack. Jack. Gonna crush those two mechs? Weird outfit you got. Nice tattoos, though. Three goddamn mechs and you're just gonna crush them, aren't you, for your introductory? Never mind, you we went Barto Club on them. Ah, uh, you know, the mech. Mechs. All okay. guards, restore order! Lethal force authorized! But don't kill Jack! Tex, lockdown! Lockdown! Sectors 7, 9, and 11 have lost life support. No survivors. Lol. They've seen us. All prisoners, return to your cells immediately, or I'll open every arrow to the ship. I'll take my chances with the convicts, please. Convicts seem more honest. Why did you stand up like that? Already did. Dang it, Shepard warning. So far that's my only dislike of this, uh... Diddly.
Slanting to the right, orange with a bit of blue. Yeah, the one thing that I'm annoyed by is the auto conversation goes on without you. It's your worst day. Get over here. Dang it. <clears throat> really shouldn't have done that. Dang it. Too premature. Gee, it's almost like you should have just ran a goddamn prison ship, you bastard. But no! You had to go above and beyond. through the air. Dying in the air. All this trouble just... All this trouble because... Dang it. Why was there a delay on me firing like that? Dang it, that one was on me. moment you look like a a blue sun. All guards to cell block one. Next time you should just do your damn job, dude. You're valuable, Shepard. I could have sold you and lived like a king. Instead, your operation comes tumbling down. But you're too much trouble. At least I can recapture Jack. Not happening. You're a two-bit slave trader, and I don't have time for it. I do the hard thing civil governments are unwilling to. This is for the good of the galaxy. So you're gonna capture a hero to sell him. Actual cover. Enemies on our right. I guess I hit a, a shielded part. Warren's dead, idiot. Stop. Would be cool if she just fought with her fists. Don't steal our ship. Cerberus. 
Says calmly, Cerberus. Has a freak out. What the hell do you want? To rescue you. You're in a bad situation and I'm gonna get you out of here. Shit, you sound like a pussy. <laughs> I'm not going anywhere with you. You're Cerberus. Hmm. I'm not your enemy. I'm here to ask for your help. You show up in a Cerberus frigate to take me away somewhere? You think I'm stupid? Look at your options. This ship is going down in flames. We can get you to safety and we're asking for your help. Could just knock her out, Commander. I'd like to see you try. <laughs> no. We're not gonna attack her. Good move. Look, you want me to come with you? Make it worth my while. You don't have to bargain. Join my team and I'll do what I can for you. Don't make promises you can't keep. I bet your ship's got lots of Cerberus databases. I want to look at those files, see what Cerberus has got on me. You want me on your team? Let me go through those databases. Yes. I'll give you full access. You better be straight up with me. So why the hell are we standing here? Because of you. Move up. Recruited prisoner known as Jack for the team. Purgatory's betrayal of Shepard unacceptable. Fortunately, was able to reverse credit transfer. <laughs> May have to take steps against Blue Suns to demonstrate consequences of interference. That's hilarious. Successfully recruit the biotic convict. Welcome to the Normandy, Jack. I'm Miranda, Shepard's second in command. On this ship, we follow orders. Tell the Cerberus cheerleader to back off, Shepard. I'm here because of our deal. Give her the files now. Miranda will let you into the system. Let me know what you find. Hear that, precious? We're going to be friends. You, me, and every embarrassing little secret. I'll be reading down in the hold, or somewhere near the bottom. I don't like a lot of through traffic. Keep your people off me. Better that way. And now I assume we'll be able to talk to everybody, maybe. And I got two Paragon. One of that means I'm low on Paragon points. And I need even more Paragon to be able to do more things. I want to be the most Paragon of all Paragoners. Uh, things to get it, I'm gonna go disrupt her ammo. Wish I could get like a specific on my Paragon points. See how many I actually have. Go through all the upgrades we can kind of do. Ah, uh, we already saved. Wait. Ah, oh, we can actually see everything down here. Shepard, how can I help? Squad status. Are there any medical concerns I should be aware of on the team? Cerberus personnel in excellent. Always some matters, but nothing. Want to talk? You got a minute? Not a good time. Try anything else? Okay, okay. We'll be here if you need me. So it's possible I hit a roadblock with everybody that isn't DLC. Commander, can I help you with something? Hmm. Thoughts on the mission? Oh, if Morton's modifications hold up, we've got a shot. If they don't, we're dead. Seems like that was always a strong possibility, though. Anything else, Commander? Opinion of the crew? What do you think of we the don't team? have anything else, Commander. Want to talk about I'm you? More interested Ready? Just okay, nope. I'm not big on. We'll talk later. Commander. So it seems like everybody I've already talked to to uh, completion. Commander, you received a new message. Is at your still terminal. out. What the hell? What the hell kind of game are you playing, Shepard? You did the buddy act when I had the gun to that Cerberus scientist telling me you understood. Now I find out you're working for Cerberus? Tests were done on me that you can't even imagine. For years, Cerberus did them. They tortured me. They used me as a damn lab rat. And now you're teaming up with them like any other Merc band? I've got my Merc team now, Shepard, and I kill any Cerberus team I can find. If I run into you, don't expect any different. Well, Tombs, if you run into me and you shoot me first, I will shoot back. I don't like it too much either. But I'm willing to hear Cerberus out enough. Wonder if these two have anything to say about Jack coming down to the bottom. I hear that Rupert is actually cooking some good meals lately. <laughs> yeah, right. That scunner couldn't serve a good haggis if his life depended on it. But all haggis tastes like ass anyway. <laughs> Aye, but in the right hands, it could taste like mighty fine ass. 
What can we do for you, Commander? Mm, nope. N Gary, nothing I about the super scary biotic in the basement. But I love the banter. Especially between those two. I I want them to live. Hey. Hmm. Upgrades. I picked up a lot of resources. Can you use them to help against the collectors? I ran across the schematics for making L5X implants. Still got them in my head. You want to know what I need? Not usually my thing, but I've learned how to get things done on my own. Jack gets a lot. You have it. Hey. Upgrades. I picked up a lot of resources. I figured out those L5Xs. Consider yourself lucky. It's not right. like I keep a library of this shit around. Miranda and Jacob. What do you think of Miranda and Jacob? Jacob doesn't know who he is, but that's not my problem. <laughs> Miranda's a Cerberus bitch. Knew that before she opened her mouth. The mission. What do you think of our mission? I don't care. I'm out to survive it, then cut loose. And now, I'm talking about, about you. you. I'm still finding out about me. Thanks for letting me look at these files. Glad they're helping. If they're helping you. That's good enough for me. Don't be my buddy. You need me to kill for you, I need you for these files. Let's leave it there. Your friends at Cerberus are into some nasty things. I'm gonna find something I can use. I just know it. Hmm. Finding answers. What if the answers aren't what you expect? I'm not looking for answers. I'm looking for names, dates, places. Next step. What happens when you find what you're looking for? I go hunting. Anyone who's screwed with me pays. Fair enough. Their associates pay. Their friends That's pay. kind of crossing the line. The galaxy's going to be a lot emptier when I'm done. Hmm. Well, I did say it before this. I won't let you go on a killing spree. I'm here for your mission. After that, what I do is my business. Hmm. Tell me about What's Cerberus. What's your history with Cerberus? They raised me in a research facility. I escaped when I was a kid. Been on the run Kind of since. like a reverse Miranda. Me ever since. But soon... I'm gonna chase them. Hmm. You sound excited. You think about this a lot, don't you? I go to sleep with this. I wake up with it. Nice shot. Everyone I kill, I pretend it's the ones that did this to me. And do you want better quarters? You don't have to live in this pit, you know. It's dark, quiet, and hard to find. That spells safety to me. You know, this ship is a powerhouse. You could go pirate. Live like a king. I could help. My mission's too important. We have to stop the collectors. I don't have time for piracy. When this is done, we'll either be dead or out here in space with this ship. Think about it. Lots of creds. Freedom to go wherever you want. And all the mayhem and fighting I could want. You enjoy killing. What is it about killing that fascinates you so much? I figure every time someone dies and it's not me, my chances of survival go up. Simple. Hmm. Goodbye. I should go. Yep. And we'll go ahead and save. See if there's a another conversation we can get into. Hey. Hmm. Talk. Tell me about you, Jack. I'm done talking. Come back later. Fair enough. I should go. Yep. And... Yep. Uh, I think that will be it for now. We went ahead, did a lot, got a new crewmate. Well, we got two crewmates. Uh, the thief, and now Jack. Don't think there's any new conversations. We'll hit up Garrus just in case, but I think he'll still be trained like everyone else. Thank you, Commander. Rupert put the new supplies to good use. And it doesn't look like I have any scars left. At least they're hardly noticeable. Guess I could just go to squad screen. Never mind, I'm covered. I don't want anyone to see my scars. How can I help you, Commander? Need anything? You have everything you need. Absolutely. Since you set up my kitchen with proper supplies, thanks again. <laughs> I won't take any Back more. Back to work. One final... Shepard. Need me for something? Normandy upgrades. Have you got any upgrade ideas? My current upgrades are working pretty well. That's about the best. Hmm. Wanna Have talk? Have you got a minute? 
Can it wait for a bit? I'm in the middle of Talk something. to you later, Gary. I'll be here if you need me. These are long calibrations. So, yeah. We've done all assignments. We have all missions done except for uh, the Warlord. So... That will be it for now, because I feel like something big might be coming. Check just to make sure. Figure. Because, more than likely... Well, more than likely. I mean, we have literally two things, and one's the overarching thing. No assignments, just Dossier Warlord. So, that's all we have to do. And then after that, something's gonna happen. I doubt it'll be mind-blowing. But, it would still probably be a conga line of things. We go to Warlord, and then bam, 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 the, we'll get dragged into things. So, we will save the Warlord for next time. And plus, this allows me to end at a half-decent time. I need to stick to my goddamn timer more. <laughs> but, yes. This time, we went with Kasumi and did her loyalty mission, because she's a DLC character, apparently. We went and uh, toured the Citadel a bit more. <laughs> Got free Paragon points by going and endorsing every single shop <laughs> on the Citadel that we had access to. Helped a Quarian from being accused of being a thief because they really are just Space Khajiit, apparently. And then we went... Did a bunch of side missions, finished off uh, the this game's Mako missions, Hammerhead missions, I guess. So, at least for now. And we got Jack. I'm still annoyed that the snarky... Eh, I thought you had the universe's best interests in mind. Is apparently considered renegade. Oh. Oh, because throwing a bit of snark... Out! It's not even really all that much snark, it is just literally, hey, you said this was for the greater good of the galaxy, and this is what you're doing? And I got a renegade for that. Because how dare a paragon have memory and snark, apparently. Mm. But otherwise, happy fun times. And next we will go grab a, a Krogan warlord, apparently. And then see what the hell else happens. I'm still worried about that suicide mission. I'm still worried. But we'll have to deal with that later. Anyways, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed what you saw. And if you did and you want more from me, I have two YouTube channels. Neon Icy Wings and Neon Icy Games. Neon Icy Wings is the main channel. Well, main channel. It hasn't been uploaded in a long time because edited content takes time. And the world is mean and cruel. Uh, then I have the Neon Icy Games and Archive channel where all these streams end up eventually. So that I can kind of archive my experiences with video games and playthroughs and stuff and if you're one of those people that are watching the archives right now you can watch me play these games live at twitch.tv slash neon icywings and if you want even more from me i also upload art to tumblr deviantart twitter and newgrounds all of them at neon icywings except for tumblr which is icywings art corner i swear i draw some and i need to draw more <laughs> But anyways, yes, thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you dudes next time when we continue our adventures here in Mass Effect 2. Thank you very much, and bye. Bye.